Hello, hello, hello. How's everybody doing today? It is Nazan here with the Lean That Streams, and we're back today playing some more Spiritfarer. We have progressed quite a bit in this game, and I'm actually excited to see where this goes from here. We do have a new passenger uh, who I think I was voicing in the previous episode as a, as a dude dog, a dog, but they actually, I think they are like listening to their vocal like, I guess they don't really have voices, but like they're kind of voices, like there's the, the sounds the character makes. I think it's a girl. 
uh, you know, or, or has a very much higher pitched voice. So I'm going to change that up a little bit this time. We also have to go get Jackie, I believe. And I don't think we did that at the end of it, but we can get Jackie on our side. Jackie was an awesomely designed uh, hyena character. Looks like somebody who worked with Stella um, at a hospital. It was like an orderly or something like that. A little bit more raw, a little bit more... Um, troublemaker a little bit more down to earth person kind of a thing but i like them uh this other character i was not expecting they seem like a mentor of a sort to stella like a real academic type uh i guess we'll find out more about them but we also lost ingrid and we lost stanley uh in the last episode as well both of those back to back they both left the ship at the exact same time it was kind of crazy uh and i wasn't expecting that specifically but uh, it was really cool and we got to like say goodbye to them and it was really sad but um you know all things come to an end and uh, more people will probably leave us before we go so uh we're going to continue on our adventure uh this week should be busy i know i missed yesterday so that's why we're here today playing some more spirit fair uh and then this week's gonna be a big one we're gonna be doing uh some more uh winds of change tomorrow and then we got we're actually doing overcooked um all you can eat on uh, wednesday with demon hunter games and c james fox and probably special guests so be ready for that we're gonna get some more chaos in the kitchen going uh one thing i was telling them uh on the side is that uh i really cannot wait for what is it called um, um cooking simulator 2 uh and i'm hoping we get a chance to do that with that group uh, because it should be a really interesting, fun time because it is like a very chaotic, uh, adventure. Like it's, if you've ever seen cooking simulator, we played a little bit on the stream and I may play it again. Um, but it was, uh, it, it's more realistic than the other ones. Like it's actually cooking based. Um, and this one has multiplayer. So we're going to burn that kitchen down. I swear we are going to be so good at it. Uh, but you know, with all that being said, I think we can get to the game. Um, I think we're going to have a good old time. We are going to take Thursday off this week since we're doing a couple already early in the week, but then we also have lethal company coming up, um, with high five wolf one up Milo and some new special guests. So come find them and say hello to them when you get a chance to, I really appreciate everybody's, you know, joining us and having a good old time. It should be fun. Uh, but with that all being said, we'll also probably try and finish up Poppy Playtime on Sunday. So it's a busy week. Um, and we'll see how it goes. So let's get to Spirit Fair. I'm excited to get back to this game because I've been really into it. Uh, I really enjoy playing this game. It is so emotionally like awesome to play. It just really hits a lot of spots. And I really enjoy doing it. So um, let's get to it, shall we? And here we go. There's that beautiful music. Really hits, like, it really, really hits. This game is so gorgeous. I think everything about it, from the art style, to the story, to the presentation, to the music, it all really hits really hard. Uh, some of the, like, item gathering stuff, things like that, it's good. I like it. Um, but it's not the main part of the game that, uh, you know, we like to do as much. So let's take a look at... Ooh, I got some glims. Nice. Is that all of them? Nice. Okay, so let's see what we have to do. So I've got... Bruce needs 100 peaches now. I'm guessing we're not actually going to have to do this, but I need to get the dash ability and improve Gustav's gallery with the Maxim Minimalist clock. Okay. Uh, Jackie, look, uh, look at the new stock from the vending machine, Overbrook. Okay, so we need to go to Overbrook. Uh, and then Beverly has a family vacation, acetate in Old Central District. Okay. I guess we have a lot of stuff to do. It is night, though, and somebody wants... No, it is not night, so we can actually get moving. So I'm going to try and do that. And then, um, let me get moving. Because I think we're going to go to the overlook where am i right now i'm nowhere close we should do this and get some treasures so we'll do that and then we'll head over to he where is this place that i'm trying to get to it's not edinburgh 
Old Central District. Okay, so let's do that. Let's do those two things. So we're going to go here, and then we're going to go to here. I need to do both of these things. All right, there's our, our path we're going to take. That's the path. And then I got someone I got to go chat with really quick. Scout, what's up? Food in my belly, now. Oh, you are hungry. God damn, I have been ignoring these people. Uh, what do you like? You like pub food or something like that, right? Like pub, pub, pub? What about grilled, what is happening? Oh God, why is it always? Ugh. I'll be right back, don't go anywhere. I just need to get these things and then I'll be giving you food. But you gotta chill, you gotta relax, you gotta eat when I feed you, I missed. Nope. Did it not get it? There we go. Jesus. I'm not sure why that was the case. Uh, let's get this giant scallop. That looks good. I feel like I'm just slightly off, but I got it anyway. That's okay. Let me get these people fed now that I can do that. Hmm. What does he want now? When you think about hospitals, you think about the sounds, the beeping of the machines. Blip, blip, blip. Even with all those machines hooked up to him, my brother's room was silent. And there were flowers from the boys, from a family, from our new family. It was like a wake. Shit, I felt like a wake. Mom was, was there every single day and every night. She got so exhausted that the doctors told her to go home at night. I tried telling her, Ma, you're tired. Go home. I couldn't get her to move. I took the doctor to give her some permission to leave the hospital. You know what, that kid? You know what, kid? I think that's not even hearing him laugh. That really killed me. More than a gun in my mouth. I was the only one who could calm him down for shit's sake. Get him to see reason. Even when that, uh, he got that boiling red tomato face. And now, I couldn't even do that anymore. This sounds very sad. Don't go anywhere. No, I need to feed you. Oh, you assholes. No, wait. Where are you going? Put him down. Put the buffalo. Put the buffalo down. Or the ox or whatever he is. I need to give you some food. So stop moving. <laughs> uh, they like pub food, I think. But I don't remember what I've got. I got fried chicken. That might work for them. Meat stew would probably be good. Let's do that. Freak rub, finally. Okay, good. Can I hug you? Yes, I can. So I need to do... I got their, like, little mission thing here, but I don't know 100% uh, how to do it. All right, well, that's fine. Let me get this corn flour. Hello, Miss Burb. Why is everybody starving? Good lord, what do you like? I forgot. Thank you. I will eat this stuff. I hate the way she eats, I really do. Oh, she's so cute though. She's so loud when she eats. That was nice. Okay, who needs to speak with me up here? You do. This is the new one, student. Must I do everything for you? You have not prepared lodging for me. Write this quickly. Something sparse! God damn it! Hold on! Why is it every time I try and talk to somebody, I get to the crates? <laughs> no, down! Down, Stella! Down! Every time. Every single time. It never fails. Every time it's time for me to talk to somebody, they're like, oh, also the crates are here. And it's like, okay, great. That's what I wanted. I want to miss my crates because I'm talking to some arrogant person over. What are these? Those look like urchin. I've never got, I don't know if we've ever gotten urchin before. Nope. I really needed to, ooh, a gift, huh? Here's some fire glow. Don't be shy. Make me something extra spicy, please. She likes spicy foods. I respect that. I do respect that. I like spicy foods as well. Big spicy food fan. I can't quite... There we go. Okay. 
I will come back to Miss Lady up there, even if she is kind of annoying. But I need to get back up there. So hold on. There we go. Student. Student. Must I do everything for you? You have not prepared lodging for me. Write this quickly. Something sparse. No frills. And I need it post haste. Go now. Okay. Uh, what are you wearing? You need to take pride in the clothes you wear. The way you dress will always make the world's first impression of you. The world will judge you, your book, by its ugly periwinkle cover. If you wear that, I'm afraid I'm saying you have poor taste. You have to access a wardrobe where there is no need to wear that particular monstrosity. Let this be a lesson to you. A lesson you should already have learned. I'm going to walk away now. I don't think I can take you seriously looking like that. I really do not like you. I don't know who this person was in relation to her. Do you like this? Thank you for the meal. Can I hug you? Do not touch me. Okay, she does not like being touched. I can respect that. Where is Goosty Gustav? Cow, I'm going to milk you. I need to feed you too, though. Do you want some, like, carrots? I have so many. I do have a lot of carrots now. Because, what's his name? Kept trying to make me get him carrots. Did I feed you? I guess I did. Milk me, please. Okay, do I? I need to fill this. I do have sunflower seeds, right? Do I not? Oh, I do. Okay, add, 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 go. Okay. That should give me some Maggie's. They got six eggs. That's a lot of eggs. Okay, moving on. Where's my sheepies? They're down here, right? Yeah, there's one. Arcade, what's going on? How are you, buddy? Hope you're having a good day. I'm feeding animals because I've been neglecting feeding people for a while now. I guess that's bad on me not to feed people. But hopefully you're having a good day. Hi. Hello. Yes. Yes. Sheepy, you hungry. I'm going to give you some cherries because I got so many of them. I have endless amounts of cherries. It's going. How you been? Oh, it's, been a, it's been a weekend. Um, you know, it's been a weird one. But it's okay. Everything's fine. Uh, but we're, you know, we're just, you know, getting through the weekend. This is a good way to, like, kind of try and uh, enjoy a good day off. So I can't complain too much. Let's go get these things. I don't know if my mulberry trees ever actually produce mulberry. Guess I'm not sure about that because they don't seem to. <laughs> but uh, where is Goosty Goose? There he is. He's in his house. He's probably starving. Oh, uh -huh. I'm seeing visions of past meals that I've had. That can't be a good sign. I agree. Um, you like fancy foods or things. This might be good. Let's uh -huh. do that. Oh, anything with an acquired taste commands respect. Yes. Anyway, hug me, Burb. Um, um, well, good. Let's not make this a habit. Oh, we will, Burb. We will. All right, anyway. I've done all that. I've got everybody fed. I'm in this place. So, I got a couple of things I need to do today. One of those is peaches, I guess. I don't have any peaches. I'm assuming I don't actually need to get that many peaches. I'm gonna hope I don't need that many peaches. I also need to build Elena's cubicle. I need a clock. I need to go to Overbrook to get Jackie. And then I need to be here to get this from here, wherever we are. I'm gonna have to do... I'm gonna have probably have to do something with peaches, though. That sounds really weird when I if you take that out of context. So I'm sitting here like, I got to do something with those peaches. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? The fruit. Definitely the fruit. 
anyway, let's do more tomats. Uh, let's... I haven't done these in a while. Let's get some tea and coffee going. I'm pretty sure the right way to play this game is to not have just one of these going at any given time. I'm pretty sure the right way to play it is to have several of these things going. But that doesn't mean I'm going to do that. I got some on I got one onion out of that. One. That gave me one onion. You get one onion per? That's ridiculous. What do I get here? Ooh. That's a lot of stuff. I do like mystery shells. All right. What do I got here? I need uh, more stuff to cook. I don't... I'm going to do fire glow because I haven't done that in a while. And I'm pretty sure... I got... Ooh, I got some more of these. So we'll do that. That's always a good thing. Huh. One freaking onion. One friggity friggity onion. That's all I got. I should probably do some cooking too. I haven't done that in a while. Uh, I am running low on some things. So, with all that being said, I do have some eggs I can cook, which might be good. So let's do that. And let's do like three. I could make more chickens so I can get more eggs. I should do this. I should allow some of these to actually hatch so that I have eggies. Let's do egg and... I don't know. Milk, I guess? Let's, I have lots of milk. Let's do that. Let's do egg and milk, and then I'm going to go make more chickens. I'm going to make more chickens. <laughs> I'm going to make more of them. Excuse me. I'm going to make more chickens. How do I do this? I can do that. Okay. We're going to go boom, and that's it. I'm going to make one more chicken. I can do like six chickens, so that's good. All right, so with all of that being done, let's head out to the city. Oh wait, no, what I need to know, what does her house cost? I need pine planks, li I could probably do this. Okay, so we'll plan on that. And then the other thing is I needed, what's his name's clock? Gustav, Gustav, I need your clock. And this one's interesting because I need gold I need gold, but I've never gotten gold. So that is going to be something. So let's go do this mission here, and then we're going to see if we can find some gold and also make Elena her house or whatever. Because she really wants a place to live. Anyway, hello, what am I doing here? I need to find an acetate. That's what we're doing here. Beverly, where? Okay, so Beverly wants to share with you some of her life stories and full of interesting stories. Got it. But where would I find said thing? Later. I'm, well, I'm not trying to talk to you. I want to go in this door, but you conveniently are standing right in front of it. Wait, nope. Okay, can I... Bloop. Yes. I'm... Mm. There we go. Let me see if there's anything I can jump on. Nothing in there. Okay, so... Can I go in here? Nope, they're both locked. It's going well for me. Any of you guys seen an acetate? Anyone? I'm asking all of you. If you've seen it, it doesn't do you any good to hide that from me. Ooh, ooh. I will know. And when I know, I will destroy you. If you lie to me. What am I doing with this? What's the point of this? Okay, so this has to mean something. The lean that streams it, there is it is. support an ongoing donation drive Damn it. right here on Twitch for the Lemur Conservation Foundation. If you okay, so I need to awesome get up here. Can it, ah, check it nope, out. I missed. To mm. learn more, check out the link in chat at the lemurreserve.org. Okay. 
There we go. I can go in here. Of which I'm sure I'll find I'm up here now. Less talking, more walking. You're inside. What are you talking about? Okay, I'm up here now. I can go this way now. Okay, so I'm looking for something. It could be up here. Ba -doo, ba -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Up we go. Here we are. Top level. I can't get in there. Everything's locked. It's got to be in there then, right? Like, that's what that's what it's got to be. But then what? Okay, so I can do this. Boingy. 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 I don't know how much this can actually take me. I don't know where this is going, but I'm going for it. There's a thing here. You. You're right. What did I just get? Henry, eight years old. I did it. I got something. What do you want? You, you were asking me something. What do you want? What do you want? You said you. I can't talk to him. I can't get to you. I can't do it. Okay, so we did what we wanted to do here. Now I can head back to the ship. It is nighttime. And therefore, too late to do anything. But that is the price you pay. Also, my new passenger does not like my outfit. I don't know why. She is a very picky person. I will say that. Um, okay, so let, <laughs> let's get started on the planting stuff. Oh, my food's probably ready. I would assume. I guess I could plant a peach tree if I really wanted to. That is another interesting thing about um, this game in general is that all of the other spirits require some level of being taken care of. But you have to assume Stella would be in the same boat, right? Like, that's really interesting to me. Which is why I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards the idea that all of this is happening in Stella's mind. This isn't like a real thing. Scrambled eggs! Yum, yum, yum. I got scrambly dambly. Okay, so I'm going to make more food. Um, I think what we'll do now is uh, the veggie stuff. I need veggie stuff. Ooh, I can do spicy food. I know who will like that. We'll do spicy dicey. Uh, spicy milk. I'm kind of curious what spicy milk would do. Okay, so let's do spicy milk. That sounds delicious. Um... Is that you? Oh, that's you. I do get the feeling that Bruce and um, and our guy there are Arcade coming close Castle. to a uh, closer good. to an Just end of a story. My little lean toy. How about you? Are you ready to join the conspiracy's <laughs> wild ride full of chaos and shenanigans? Let's make this stream even more interesting. Oh, well. right. Everybody's sleepy time. Exactly. And this is a very comfy game when it's not being the saddest thing on the planet. Oh, I did get another chickadee. Look, he's right there. Nice. Okay. Cow, are you ready for milkies? Yes. You made the sound. You are a demonic cow. I've discovered this is literally a demonic cow because my cow made the sound of multiple cows at once. And I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. Don't know how I feel about that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make What's-Her-Name's home. Is that done? Holy shit. Okay, hold on. My spicy milk is done. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> How does that make chai latte? Okay, 
That's good to know. I have got chai latte now, I guess. That's good. I've got so much of this stuff. Let's do something else with fire glow because I got plenty of it. Uh, let's move five of those in there. And then let's try um, fire glow and rice flour. I don't know what that's going to do. I guess to some degree. I guess I'm ready for some shenanigans. I guess I'm ready for some shenanigans. You are ready for all of the shenanigans. You better be ready. There's no getting away from them. Let's do... I don't have that much rice flour. Let's do corn flour, I guess. I need more rice flour. Okay. So, what I need to do is I need to figure out what I need to make for... What's her name's house? I've already done that. I need Elena. Okay, so I need pine planks. I need so many pine planks. Why do you need so many pine planks? That's a lot of pine planks. Okay, I guess that's what we're doing tonight is going to make pine. Do I have pine? I do. I have two pine. There's no way I can do this. All right, we can't do that. That's a lot of pine planks. I got plenty of ash. We could do that. <laughs> Ooh, very angular. I did so bad with that. Oh my god. Okay, I got some pine planks. Not enough. Nowhere near enough, that's for sure. But, um, you know, it's a start, I suppose. Um, let me get up to here. Oh, wait, hold on. I wanted to do something in my cellar. Okay, I've got milk and I've got yogurt. We could do yogurt, I guess. Nope. We'll do some milky milk. I'll do like five of those because I got so many milks. And then we'll do cabbage. All right, there we go. Uh, chicky chickadees, uh, chicky chickadees, uh, chicky, give me my eggadees. We'll make another chicken because I've got enough room to make as many chickadees as I can make. Oh, look, you're already here. Hmm. I'm taking a little breather and resting my legs. Do you need this chair? That's not a chair, that is... Okay, well then, take my seat. No, I don't want your chair. I... Okay. Ah, I'm taking a little breather in resting my legs. Did you need this chair? No. Perfect. More sitting time for me. Okay, I can do a thing. Here we go. Oh. Ah, look at that. That's not a giant robot, that's me. I'm so young. Oh, wow. He was drawing me, knitting on that chair. Oh, Henry. Growing up made such a sweetheart out of him. Before that, he was a little monster. The kind of kid who's noisy when the show is on, but calm during the commercials. One day, he just calmed down. It was strange. Overnight, he became his dad, brilliant and quiet, real quiet. He just retreated into his thoughts. What an odd thing to, to think in your head at night, to, hmm, dream. Yeah, dream about. Interesting. I don't really know what that's about. I wonder if, um, Henry, I wonder if Henry was autistic or something. It kind of sounded like some sort of thing like that. The other thing um, I'm questioning is I made this assumption that um, Ingrid and Giovanni or like um, Ingrid and Giovanni. I tried to make an assumption about what their relationship was to Stella. And then the more I think about it, the more I'm kind of questioning that. 
Um, because I made the assumption that like Stella and Giovanni like had a thing. And I guess I don't know that because I feel like Ingrid's attitude towards uh, Stella does not seem to uh, does not seem to match that thought. And so my thinking is that it could have been something else. Good morning, Gustav. Would you like a bite to eat? Would you like to chai tea? I bet you would like chai. You're a chai tea kind of person, right? Hell yeah. Um. Another faucet to my existence revealed. As a citizen of the world, I consider all food to stand on equal footing. This might be exotic to some, but I consider it a must. Chai tea is not exotic, my friend. I hate to tell you this. It is not. Not anymore. Maybe it was at one point, but it's not. Ah. Uh. Aww. It is definitely not. <laughs> but anyway, so I kind of made that thought that that's the relationship between those three characters. And the answer to that is that is not true. I, I guess I'm kind of wondering was... Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but I guess it was ready to go. Um, I'm kind of wondering now was... Was Ingrid and, and Giovanni Stella's parents? And now that I'm thinking about it, that kind of makes more sense considering their, like, kind of dynamics together. We don't really know that much about Stella's parents. And so that could be it. I guess I'm not 100% certain on that, but I guess that could be the case. I do like that this game does leave a lot to the imagination to some degree, and I think that's a good thing. Um, but I'm, I guess it is an interesting idea. Okay, so we're going to head this way. Uh, I'm going to stop by you. Odd to seed, huh? And then we're going to do this, and then we'll head to the Overbrook. Okay, that's our plan. And I think from there we can pick Jackie up. I also need to figure out where I'm supposed to do the dash. Um, because I know I need it. I know that. But I'm not 100% certain where dash is. We'll find out, though. I also need steel sheets, and I need so much freaking pot. He's here. I'm already there. God damn it. Hold on. Chill, 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 chill. Who wants stuff? You. Something new. Ranzo says, that's your lucky day. How lucky you must be. I've got a new errand reward just for you. The fresh off the presses. Have a look-see. Okay. Reward. I can do this peach seed. Well, it turns out I actually need that. So, bam. There you go. Also, I need to sell things to you. Not that. Choco Blaster. Mm. Okay, we're going to do like a bunch of these. That, 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 and then an old shoe. Done. Okay, that gave me a lot of stuff. So that's good. And then we can head on out. How are you two doing? You're not hungry. That's good. I don't need to feed you constantly. Are we in the middle of something? No, we're not. Okay. I guess I could fish. I haven't fished in a while. Nope. I don't have time to fish because here we are at crate. Crate always. Again? Again? Again what? No, hold on. I'm busy. I don't know why he said again. It's really strange. But he's leaving now, so I guess that's fine. My question is, I don't 100% know where to get gold. I'm definitely going to need it, but I don't know where to get it. That's an interesting idea. You know what I need to do? I need to go to where is my smithy. I want to see if I can make steel plates because I'm going to need it. 
clear glass steel plate. Okay, so we can do this. No, this one. Steel sheet. Okay, so we're going to try doing this. Here it comes. We're going to smash some shit. There it is. Oh, it's comet time. I'm not sure if I'm wanting to do that, but I could. I, it might keep me here until I do it, so... Or say no. Nice. Okay, let's go do it, I guess, and then we'll... We'll see what that's like from here, and then that kind of thing. Here we go. Comets are good, because you do get a lot of glimpses out of it, too, so that's probably good. Um... But we'll see. Bam. That's a lot of comets. Oh, there's one right there. And you get the comet rocks, which are valuable as well. Oh, they were all up there. Oh, I missed. Crap. Nope, get off the ladder. Yep, there it is. All right, getting a lot of glims, which is good. I do need the glimmy glims. Because I need to uh, get the next evolution of the ship. Not that we're, like, dying for space right now, because we're really not. But um, I have a feeling I may down the road. Because we really do need to, like probably increase production of things what's going on crispy how's it going hope you're having a good day we're just we're just you know surviving a meteor shower or comet storm or whatever uh but that's what we're doing uh yeah so very melancholy day i agree there is something kind of low-key about it, right? Definitely a thing. What do you want? Who is asking for me? I'm a busy person. Yep. Sweet pea. I do enjoy being on this boat. I've been wondering. Uh, what would it be possible to build me a house? You already got one. Uh, Zephyr, what if I just, like, booped your Ew. nose? If you do, I may bite. I may commit bite. So watch out. Would it be possible, Bill? You're standing right next to it. Ah, you remember, the kids and David and I lived on a farm. And we had nature all around. We had dogs and goats. That's fair. Exactly. Arr, 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 bite, bite, bite. Ah, it was a cozy little farmhouse. It wasn't much, but it was ours. Uh, God, she's definitely got some sort of memory issues. Oh, uh, my little farmhouse. That's right. It's right there. Well, a job well done once again. Not everyone is good with houses. There's uh, definitely some issues there. the poor deer. Ooh. I got corn flour and... Weren't you done? Wait. I could have sworn that was done. I could have sworn I heard it ring that it was done. That's not right. Now I gotta start over. What now? What do you want now? You again? Oh... I know what I wanted to tell you. This man from my town was one of the two real estate agents around. He had just started and wanted to make an impression. He had a giant mustache and was always wearing a tuxedo. It was quite odd. Anyway, it turns out that he couldn't sell a house to save his life, but he was a, a lead salesperson in his district for two straight years. This local paper did a big story on him. They found out that his wife was buying up all the properties. 
she had like 20 houses in her name. The whole neighborhood was nearly empty. She could afford it. Her dad struck rich in oil. She just goes to show you. You can't judge a, uh, by his... Is she okay? Well, then. I don't... Oh, this is... Mm, this is real sad. I have a really good idea what they must have looked like in real life. Really? I'm curious. Why, what do you think? Milk this cow. Moo. I'm gonna milk a cow. Milk him good. Milk him. Complete. Full of cow juice. Okay. Uh, nah. Just by the character designs? Got it. Got it. Okay, so this is cheese. I got that yogurt. And then that one's not done. Okay. Sauerkraut takes a long time to make, I've noticed. It is night. Where are we right now? Am I where I'm supposed... Am I at Overbrook? Am I in Overbrook? I am in Overbrook. Oh. Let's go get Jackie then. It's Jackie time. Let's go. Jackie? Oh, I got more crispy burlap men. Crispy. What? Okay, I'll buy required materials, five obol. I have to give up an obol to do it. Crispy burlap men. Hmm, okay. What is that about? I don't know them? Me neither. Jackie. Jackie, where are you? Jackie. Jackie, dear. Cruxius, what's going on? How are you doing? I'm looking for Jackie. I don't see them anywhere. Where's a... Oh, there's a ladder. Oh, there's one right there. Okay. Jackie, dear. How do I go up? <laughs> oh, there we go. Where is Jackie? I don't know where they are. There's something in there. I still don't know how to get in there. Tired already, hoping for the weekend on Monday. How you going? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. We had an extra day this week because of President's Day, so that's why I'm starting a little earlier than normal today. Um, but yeah, I know the feeling. I'm already kind of there. Uh, this weekend ended up being kind of chaotic and weird, and so I can definitely understand that. Do I have to buy this thing? Maybe I do. All right, fine. I got some crispy burlap men. Thank you. That is very dramatic for a... That is a very dramatic uh, vending machine. Jackie! That's got to be good old Jackie. I don't know where they are, though. Oh, Jackie. Oh, good old Jackie. Jackie... Ooh, there's a ladder here. That's new. Oh, there's another ladder here. Those are new, too. Over here. This place is falling apart. We need to do something. Over here. Oh. Hey, smellers. <laughs> Just thought of that. <laughs> Did you get my letter? It was pretty good, wasn't it? Hey, lighten up, will ya? It didn't really fart up that envelope. Or did I? Anyway, thanks for the visit. Oh, hey, look at that. The ladder's back. Great. If I told you, it leads to a room. Uh, one of the more difficult patients here. Scratch that. The most difficult patient. She's got some issues, like, you know, in the head. Like, difficult issues. She's a real, really a pain. Oh, oh yeah, okay, okay. I know, it's my job. Don't look at me like that. Uh, I take good care of her, I promise. It's just, well, 
It was a nice breather, not having to deal with her. The hospital was running so much smoother. Anyway, back to the grind. I guess if I ever want to leave, um, or if I ever want to have a chance to get on top of this. Hey, Stella, um, I know you're busy and all with your boat and your fancy duties, uh, saving the world or whatever it is you do, but think you could help out an old pal? Listen, here's what we're going to do. I have an extra pager here. It was my colleague's. Well, before she, uh, you know, up and quit mid-shift and left me all alone to manage this shit show. Anyway, take it. That way, if I ever feel overwhelmed, I can just text you, and you can come here for the rescue. How about it? Oh, sure, why not? Fantastic. Oh, wow. Uh, I like, it's, I feel like a weight has been lifted off my chest. Crap, I almost forgot. About that snack, anything good? Well, there's just one thing left. What a load of bull. Better be good. What was it? A crispy burlap man protein bar? Well, no thank you. That shit's full of unnatural ingredients. My body's a temple. Stanley's still with you? No, Stanley's gone. We actually said goodbye to Stanley and Ingrid back to back. Like, it was literally, like, at the same time. One visit to the door and, like, back to back, they both left. <laughs> Question of self-respect. Well, really gotta go now. See you soon. Stanley killed me when he left. He's killed me, too. I wasn't ex I wasn't expecting it to be so sad because we spent so little time with him. Right? Yeah, I know. He was like, I was good. I, it was so, so heart-wrenching because, like, you kind of got the idea. Here's something I was just saying before uh, you joined. Um, I think I was going off the assumption that Giovanni and Ingrid also were, like, people that, I mean, obviously Stella knew both of them. And I was kind of going off this assumption that Giovanni was someone Stella may have had an affair with. But then I was thinking about it and I was going, Ingrid is way too nice to Stella <laughs> for that to be true. So I have an alternate theory. Was Giovanni and Ingrid Stella's mom and dad? Because I'm kind of thinking that might be the case. Uh, let's give uh, you some food. Some scramby eggs. Right on. Thanks for the meal. And I was starving. Oh. Can I hug you? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Big hyena hugs. Oh. Uh -huh. Oof, yeah. Needed that. I don't give nearly enough hugs. But do you think I'm... They were grandparents or adopted grandparents. I don't remember fully. Okay, I knew it was something like that. Because I was starting to think that the whole, like, Stella and Giovanni thing, that doesn't really make sense. And the way Ingrid reacted to things really didn't make any sense to me. So that makes more sense if I really put it, like, to that measure. Um, okay, so that makes more sense to me. Okay, so we are still doing this. I need missing credentials. Where do I get Dash from? That's a really good question. I also need more pine. Oh, I can get really high up here. Oh, there's something up there. Okay, so if you move, Jackarino, I might be able to go into that place here. I can't go in there, can I? Who are you, by the way? This place is falling apart. I need to do something. Okay. I'm going to let you guys figure that one out on your own time. Yeah. Oh, good. Um, why? Why indeed? All right. So I'm going to figure out the art book and wiki really give good background on the story oh, oh okay every little detail adds to the richness of the lore it's like peeling back the sorry drop my phone all so good all good i understand go, the more delicious it gets dive in and savor it all is my this thing done yet not even remotely close okay uh, I need another steel sheet. I need to find pine, though, so I'm gonna make one more. Kids join the conspiracy on Discord, so okay. I can see why you are not there. Just saying.
There we go. That's the steel sheets we need for Elena's house. I'm intrigued by Elena just because she's so abrasive. Oh, that's right. Also, she wanted me to change my outfit. Because you don't like my outfit. Because you think I'm ugly. Stop. I'm hungry. Well, I don't care. Also, what do you what do you like? Coffee? Thank you for the meal. I can't hug her. She doesn't like being touched. So I need to remember that because she doesn't react well to that. Okay, so I think she doesn't like my outfit. So I need to change my outfit. Can I make you purple? Ooh, I'm going to make my cat purple, though. Okay, so let's do yellow blouse. Oh. All right. Yellow. Hat, we're going to go with a... Let's go red. Nope. Why do I have a pager? What the hell? Catch emergency. <laughs> One of three. Need help ASAP. Smell ya. I just was there. I was literally just there. Whatever. Okay. Let's go with the red hat, yellow, and then my pants can be mustard. Uh, let's go plum trousers. That's a good outfit. Let's go with that. My cat's now purple. It makes perfect sense. You can't tell me otherwise. Good morning. Would you like some food? I bet you would. Uh -huh. Thank you, Skipper. It's not a shit. All right. I have to go help Jackie. Hold on. Jackie means well, but is a total mess. I agree. But I like the character a lot. Because we've all probably worked with somebody like that who is, like, everybody's favorite person, you know, at, like, the place. And, like, kind of treats themselves like they're the leader of the place, even though they probably, from, like, managerial setup standpoint, probably not even remotely close. But... Yeah, you're right. She's got her heart in the right place. I think she... Or Jackie. I don't know if it's a she. I think it might be a he. I'm not 100% certain on that. But Jackie puts a lot of... Um, a lot of effort into what they do. Great. Oh. Ah, shit. Smellers. You really came. I always knew I could count on you. And nice to have a visitor, too. What? Oh, yeah. Shit. Work. Right. Uh, I'm just so swamped. Uh, I need to make things worse. Miss Difficult up here is being extra bothersome today. I can't leave my post here. Uh, I'd be too dangerous for her. Listen, I need you to grab some grub for these poor people. They've been complaining all day. I swear, it's like they're helpless. Anyway, you should get to the cafeteria, grab some food trays. Anything will do. I mean, this is a hospital, right? People can't just expect five-hour service around here. And then just pass them around. I'll shut them up for a moment. Hopefully I'll be done up here by then. All right. My kitchen time. Oh. I don't know what to say. This is what we're serving. If you're not happy, you don't have to eat here. I just want trays. Give me the trays. I don't know what to say. You're not giving me the trays. Oh. For the follow, M. Robin James, 1995. Thank you, M. Robin James, for the follow. Welcome to The Conspiracy. How are you doing? And how is your day going? Um, how do I get these trays? Get food from the cafeteria. I assume that's this place. Uh, some glue, sawdust, and some pork. Go for the love of my leg. Okay. This place is falling apart. I agree, but I don't know how to get these trays. Can I have these trays? Oh, menu. Flame. Thank you. Who do I give this to? Do I give it to you? Who am I supposed to give these things to? Is it just anybody in general or does it matter? 
do you have to give it to like a particular person or am I giving it to anyone I run into? I'll start with these three. Is it just me or do hospitals smell different? I know it's weird to think about your nose and smelling stuff when you're really using it, right? Most of the time it's just there, not doing anything. I guess it's always smelled medium smelly, you know? When, uh, when it smells real good or stupid awful, your nose just tells you. That's pretty much how noses work. Oh. I can't feel my bones. Is that normal? Ha. Maybe. Maybe. Oh. Yeah, that's very chickeny. Ha. I agree. I don't know what I, what exactly I just did, but that's fine. <laughs> For the love of my leg. This place is falling apart. We need to do something. Who am I giving this to? <laughs> Who wants food? <laughs> Who, Jackie? Okay. You're just kind of standing there, so I'm not really sure I believe. Maybe it's only people that are inside. That could be true. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I'm gonna go. I can't go down. I don't. Okay. We'll just go out here and we'll just. There we go. Um, if I fall here. Because I think there are people inside. How do, I can't go in there. Oh. I don't know. I hope this line clears up soon. I don't think there's any room in there. Who wants grubby grubs? Who here wants the grubby grubs? The, hello, kitty. Do you want grubby grubs? Anybody in here want some grubby grubs? Just anybody? I don't know who wants the grubby grubs. Do you want grubby grubs? Now, where is my guy? You don't want grubby grubs. What about you? Grubby grubs? I knew we... I hope we find us sooner, Lau. I don't know what you're talking about. I hope we find us soon, Flo. Food? Yes, that's very chickeny. I feel like I already gave that to you. Oh, give. Oh! Grub. Here, have some of that. Ew. 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 Ew! I don't like this food. Too bad! It's hospital food. Take my grub. Oh. This is scandalous. Very seriously, look at this food. I should go on a hunger oh. strike, but I'm hungry right now. Maybe later. Just give it. I don't complain to me. I didn't cook it. I had nothing to do with the cooking of this food. I'm just, I'm just the messenger. I'm just the distributor of bad food. Okay, so that's just me giving you this grub. This, this looks like food from yesterday. I don't mean like it looks old. I mean it looks like already been eaten. Ugh, fine. There we go. Everyone is satisfied. Done? Done. Hey, I can hear the incessant whining of hungry patients anymore. Does it mean you fed all of them? That's great. A bit less on my plate, a bit more on theirs. Gotta admit, it was kind of scared you wouldn't follow the procedure. But you did. Looks like a little soldier model orderly, really. Anyway, thanks a bunch for your help. Mm -hmm. and, and well, something tells me I'll be needing your help pretty soon. Miss Difficult doesn't appear to be calming down anytime soon. Okay. You know, I'm kind of busy with the spirit bearing thing, so, you know, keep that in mind. Keep in mind that I'm a busy person. Kind of, I think. Pretty sure. Ah! I'm nude! Help! It's raining out. It's gonna be so cold. What do you want? 
Also, who are... Oh, my food's done. What did I cook? I forgot what I cooked. I made... Chiquilas? Chiquilas? I don't know what that is. Um, what do you want up here? You again. Psst. Ah, a sweet bee. You've probably wondered where I've been lately. I've been hiding out in my house. I didn't want to come out. Uh, just like a small town where word gets around and the gossip starts. My walls are not that thick. I can hear still hear people talking. Talking about me. This is this kind of thing, unwarranted gossip, I mean. It kind of happened all the time back in town. People don't seem to change. One of my good friends was always the nicest to me. She would always praise my hairstyle or the way I dressed. She complained. She complimented we were always coming. And this is when I just had lost my brother. You remember I told you the story about that sudden brain aneurysm? Poor thing. Taking the dog for a walk and poof on the ground. Well, it was, I wasn't around at the time. One day, I was at her house for a garden party, and we had just to leave early. My husband wasn't feeling well, too. Too many cocktails. He was such a lightweight. Well, I left quite suddenly, but then had forgotten my purse. I came back not 50 minutes later from the... Uh, and from the... Uh, bleh, from, from the sidewalk, I could hear. Well, she was talking behind my back talking about how I wore the same dress to two bodies in a row. She never said it in a very off-handed way. She was stating it as a fact. Everyone knows that. She should know better then. That's what I remember. The way it made me feel. I didn't like it. This is how I feel now. Nobody likes being kicked when they're down. I've been feeling like I'm losing my mind. On top of that, the other people on this boat have been talking about me behind my back. I don't want to put yourself in a delicate situation, but could you help? Maybe do the rounds and see for what yourself what is going on. I would appreciate it. Thank you, sweet bee. Man, she's... Because it sounds to me like the way her neighbor was doing that... I don't think the neighbor was doing that with, like, the express idea that they were being mean to her. But it sounds more like they were concerned. Potentially. Do you like breakfast? Free grub, finally. Okay. So if I talk to them... What, old dad? Behind the back? Nah. Never say nothing about nobody. We ain't about to go and snitch. As a golden rule, you gotta treat your elders with respect. Family is everything. Okay, bye. <laughs> good talk, good talk, good talk. Ghost off, have you been talking smack? Uh huh. Some gossip, you say? About Beverly? Well, Stella. While bad-mouthing and hearsay are sadly deep-rooted parasites in the artistic world, let me reassure you, I will not, do not, and never partake in any of them. Uh -huh. Besides, I'm far too busy with my endeavors. Okay, that's good to know. All right, bruh. Bruh. He just kind of, like, was like, peace out, and that was it. That was the end of the story. Um, who else is, um... Uh, I need... Oh, you. Have you been talking shit about the burb? Have you been talking shit? Rain really ruins the day, doesn't it? Okay. Jackie, what's going on? Freaking... Freaking out. <laughs> oh, God. People. Lost people. Oh, no. Help, please. Okay, so we have to go back into the place to help Jackie. In the meantime, I'm going to take a quick break because uh, I have to use the restroom. But after that, we'll be right back to it. So give me one second. I will be back shortly. Enjoy these clips. Get away from me. Get in the fire. Get in the lava. You son of a bitch. I will murder you. What are you doing? Stop. Where did you come from? Oh my God. Not like this. No, 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 no. No. 
No, I bet it was the... Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, God. The <laughs> rug's oh, on fire. No. Oh, God. Oh, no. oh, God. The rug's... Oh, no. oh my God. Help. Oh. Help. Oh, no. uh, what have we done? No, that's a burger. <laughs> no. I got it. I got it. Okay. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, 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 oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Oh, they took out Instagram. You do. You put on quite the show. Please grant us with the honor of hearing your names. I'm not a ghost. I'm no gladiator. And I'm no mushroom farmer either. My name is Verm, and I am the mouse who will slay the yellow god. And I'm Bruce. <laughs> If only I had my penis, my log Viagra. All right, see, that didn't take long. I told you it'd be a quick break, and that it was. But we're gonna go see Jackie. Somebody wants something. Why? And who? And why are they so freaking high up? Good lord. A sweet bee. Ah, I didn't sleep well last night. My back was killing me. What are you doing? Are you busy right now? Uh, no. Oh. I didn't ask you to do that. I haven't been talking to anyone. Have people been talking behind my back? I don't think they would have had the time from to form an opinion of me. Are you sure you asked? Uh, are you sure you asked you to do that? Ah! That sounds like something you would do on your own. I might go introduce myself now. Yeah, she's having some real tough times. Hopefully you won't have it ruined my reputation by now. Oh, Sweepy. Always trying to help out. Oh, man. I feel bad for her because obviously she's very much struggling. But, yeah. Anyway, let's go see what Jackie wants, I guess. Jackie's freaking out right now. Lost some people. That's real sad. Being a hospital worker, I can't even imagine what that would be like. I can't. I can't even, like, fathom that. Um, I've known people who do it or have done it. I know people who have been nurses, and, and I even I think I have a doctor friend from a while back, too. But, um, God, that's got to be tough. I don't know how you distance yourself from that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Like, that, that, that is unfathomable to me to, like, how do you distance yourself Oh, it's you. I thought I smelled it. It smelled like eggs. Heh, <laughs> kidding, kidding. Jeez, just chill a bit. You're gonna blow a fuse. So, listen. Mrs. Doesn't Want a Nap up there is really being a handful today. She's such a pain. Long story short, I haven't been able to make the, my rounds properly. There's a couple of patients that have a tendency to wander around the hospital grounds. Without yours truly to shepherd them back to their rooms, they'll surely be lost and scared. More like mocking and distracting the staff. Mind you, they're not dangerous, just confused. But we can't have patients just wandering around. Managing calls it a liability. You'd uh, be a gem if you help me uh, out by finding them. There should be three of them. Look for any patient visibly out of place or hiding. And then just talk to them. They'll listen to you. Uh, and then hurry right back. Why am I wearing a green shirt? I was wearing a yellow shirt. Where's I was wearing a red hat. Where's my red hat? I am very confused. You look out of place. Shush. I'm trying to find a way to sneak in. I have it on very good source that this tower isn't a tower at all. It's actually a rocket ship. It was built by the reptilians so they could flee to the stars. At least once they're done enslaving humanity. As you know, reptilians have primo taste when it comes to snacks. If I could just find a way in, I'm sure I could snatch a few of them. I've been having a craving for ants on a log for a week now. What? Oh, you've, uh, have you seen some in my room? Why didn't you say so before? See you. Okay, bye. You know, I kind of hope that's true. <laughs> I actually kind of want that to be true, is what I'm saying is we should definitely, definitely want that to be true. 
All right, let's look for another patient that looks... You look out of place. Hmm. Am I lost? No, of course not. I'm a doctor. Oh. He starts going off on how the the, the, the president pulled a, the gas price lever. Yeah, probably. He's That's probably the next step, but hopefully not. The best of the best. I know all the bones. Oh. There's a radius and a diameter. And wait, oh. that's not right. All right, I'm not really a doctor. I just wanted to have some fun. Oh. I'll go back to my room. Okay, bye. Good talking to you. Now, it's... Mm, I don't think that's one of them because he's always been up there, but I could go check on him. I mean, you've always been there. Yeah, you've always been there, so definitely not. Love the ruined industrial building look. It does look pretty cool. Who are you? Hey, you. What's your name? Where are you from? What's your favorite color? Do you ever dream? What are you doing later? Are you helping people? Do you have a dog? Why do you have a cat? Uh, do you not like dogs? Have you ever been bitten by a dog? Is that why? Is it because the bite got infected? Is your arm all right? Does your arm smell or something? Can you still see out of your left eye? <laughs> are you blind now? Uh, do you see spots when you close that eye? Did you go to the hospital and get it checked out? Is this why you're here now? Well, is it? Okay. Good, good chat. Great chat, even. Hey, you look lost. Don't talk to me. I'm waiting for raccooning to come and restock the vending machine. Then, when they're not looking, I'll sneak into one of their boxes, and I'll finally be able to explore the world. Imagine where I'll go. First, on a cargo ship, and then off to storage hangar, probably for a couple of years. Okay. Finally, I'll probably go to recycling center to be made into a brand new box. You know, you make some pretty good points. I'll just go back to my room. Sometimes, they, uh, they mold makes funny shapes. Okay? I did my job. I did the rounds. I'm a rounds master. I am the master of the rounds. Are you impressed with me, Jackie? Oh, Jackie. Oh, Jackie boy. Oh, Jackie boy. Managed all right? Oh. Ha. How was it? Not too bad? Yeah, I didn't think so. Sure, Greta's super weird, but I guess that's just her. They're still a good bunch. They're very cooperative, unlike you-know-who up here in Tower. Up there. Plus, I was pretty sure they'd go back to their rooms after meeting you. I knew I would, if only to avoid the smell. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, come on, you know I joke around. Anyway, yeah, thanks for the help. Sometimes I wonder why I even bother with this job. Guess I don't know what else I could be doing. Plus, they tell me I'm doing some good work by working here, so... Win-win? I don't know. Never quit. That... got that expression. Oh. Almost forgot. I had to rummage through my locker and finally find it, but I wanted to be straight with you. There you go, an old coin, just like that one you lent me the other day, remember? From the old vending machine? Anyway, there we are now, square. Well, smell you later. Oh, you got me an oval! I got my oval back. Good, 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 good. Oh, oh it's so close. Alright, so it's going to depend on how long Jackie takes to uh, call me up again. I guess that could be at any time. Considering I still need gold and I still need pine. So I'm a little short on both of those things. Right? Because that's what I'm missing to build that house. I've only got four pine and I need linen. That I could do. I could make linen. I've got enough steel sheets. Sweet pea. She is so busy. Goodness me. I do enjoy being on this boat. 
I've been wondering, would it be possible we're doing this again? But remember, the kids and Dave lived on the farm. Is this going to be like a thing that just comes up every once in a while now? God, I feel so bad for her. Like, clearly she's having some issues. Oh, there's Jackie again. Nothing right now. About to take a nap. Hiding from idiots. Sorry. Um, right. Remember. I don't know what you meant. That. I'm not sure what that you meant by that. Wrong number. Wrong number. Haha, <laughs> 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 joke, joke. Loud, loud. Again? Oh. Ah. Look, Stella, I know you've been, or your something's not right with me. With my memory, with uh, how I think about things, I, I can't think about what I used to anymore. It's really hard. But you're here and that helps. You know what? Don't worry about it. Right, so I did remember more of that dream I was telling you about the other day. You know, the one with the projector and the sweet corn. That's right. The one where I had looking at my dad's old film negative. It was from when he was stationed in Europe. I don't remember where exactly. He never really talked about his experiences. He probably was one of my complete opposite. He did mention seeing some beautiful houses. He always said we should have built a house in that style. What was the name of that place? Nordweiler. Oh, that sounds right. Hopefully, it's, um, we'll find that acetate. It's, it will help me remember a bit more. Oh, and take this. I'm sure it will come in handy. Thanks again, Sweet Pea. Oh, okay. Let me go make some linen. I probably have to feed people, but let me make some linen. Sounds cozy. It is cozy. Very cozy. Linen. Linen, linen, linen fiber. Linen, linen. Don't tell me I don't have linen. Oh, God, I was about to say. Okay, so we're going to make a bunch of linen because I need a bunch of it. Pretty sure. So let's start with, like, 13, and we'll just start from there. That should be enough. Or at least I'm hoping. Don't get in my way. I can't see what I'm doing now. And then I got to find some pine, which I think is up in this area, though, which makes it somewhat easier to do. But if I can get that going, then at least Elena will not hate it here so much because she's kind of complaining as it is anyway. Oops, I missed completely. Okay. Uh, I don't need to smashy smash yet. I guess I could... Oh, man. I got so much silk fiber. I don't know how much of it I need. Oh, you're done. My sauerkraut's ready. My milk. My chickens. I got so many chickadees. Look at that. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five. I can do one more chicken. Okay. Excuse me, what? Why? I need to give you some seds. I'm gonna need to grow some more uh, sunflowers. I think. Let me milk you, please. Milk this cow. And I shall milk you until you are free of milk. I milked you so good you want to take a nap. I appreciate that. Anyway. I should probably grow some yeah, sunflowers. You, watching. I see you. If you have not hit follow, I dunno. Why not just do it? Come on. Yeah, why not? Why not indeed? Alright, let's go. Look. Mm, thanks for showing up. I'm going to do three things of sunflowers so I don't run out of those anytime soon because I am a little low on the seeds. Got to make sure I got plenty of them sunflowers. I'm kind of waiting to see if Jackie needs anything before we leave here, but... 
but I do need to get some other places. Okay, bye. Never mind. I was going to come see you, but but I do need to go find some pine. And I'm pretty sure areas out here have pine. There is this obscure canopy. I could go there. Let's do that. Onion. Is it going to be one again? Really? Onion does not yield much. I'm not sure how impressed by onions I am at this point. Because you don't get much from doing that. Thank you, fire glow. I do like... Uh -oh. I'm not sure what we just ran into, but that's very strange. Let's do some radishes, I suppose. I also need to start doing something about... Um, let's do this, I guess. I do need to do something about... Something. Not 100% certain. Oh, peaches. So I guess with peaches, I could build another tree thing. Or can I? That's a good question. Can I? What would that take? Orchard. I could do it. So I'm going to do another one and get that going, I guess. So we'll just build another orchard up here. And I'll put some peaches in there. I'm going to guess that they're not actually going to want those, but I don't think I can progress it until I start growing them. What? You are so annoying. I can't go on like this. I need something to eat in yesterday. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. My bad. I forgot to feed you. You like fish, don't you? Uh, your fairy turns into the Quilloon Whale City in a China. Seriously, right? Thank you. Hug me, lady. Aww. That was nice. Okay, I'm out of here. Okay, so let me grow some peaches. I'll just do two things of peaches so we can get this thing going. Heading to the country, gonna grow myself some peaches. Peaches, peaches, peaches. Okay, here we go. Stop. I'm conserving energy with my slow breathing, but I need food nonetheless. Oh, yes. The they bulldozed it, but uh, it was crazy and density in China. Level. Can you Interesting. I would have to see more about that because I don't know that it's one like too much. It's like a wild urban jungle, just with more concrete and less oh. wildlife. Yeah. What a crazy piece of history, right? Theo knows his history. I don't know where he, I don't know where he learns it, but he does learn it. Do you like sauerkraut? Thank you for the meal. She does like sauerkraut. I'm actually a little surprised by that. He does know. He knows all. I'm not sure how he knows it, but he does know it. Again. You really messed up. It's peaches. Got it? I didn't mess up. You told me to get carrots. I got them. And then you changed your mind, and I'm working on them. That's on you. All right. I'm going to go get some wood. Because I need wood. I need lots and lots of wood. I need all the wood. And then also whatever the hell this is. I have no idea. Maybe it'll be gold. It doesn't look like gold, but maybe it'll be gold. It is not. It is definitely not gold. Where am I going? Ah... Fancy, a fancy base, it, they say. How do I get anywhere here? That could be gold. It doesn't look like gold, but it, it's probably the closest thing to gold I've seen, so who knows? 
I just don't know how to get anywhere in here. Oh, here we go. Pine, pine. This is what I need. I need pine. I need lots of pine. My cat's lost. I can't. There you are. Oh my God. What happened to you? Good. Should be a dragon like silver was. Oh, okay. So we got to find this gold dragon. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. We'll get that going. Kaboom. Okay. I did need that. Young person. You stopped. Good for you, youngster. Berries the name. I was on a hike looking for berries, but there's nothing here, which is odd. Berries grow almost everywhere. When I walk, I was always stopping to pick berries. I always leave some. Animals need to eat too. I'm on the older side of life and I have time to take hikes. Walk around the woods. However, my feet grow tired easily. My legs aren't what they used to be. I could run off up to shoplifters. I could run a marathon. I could run for days. Now, I just eat berries and enjoy the sun. Long story short, would you find me some berries? I would like three kinds. Strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries. The other ones are too wild for my taste buds. Now I'll see you soon, youngster. Have a berry day. <laughs> You're so funny. You're so funny. Okay. I'm just going to try going this way. I don't know what this is going to do for me. Uh, these are some tall ass trees. Okay. All right. So I did not go the right way here. You're all. Oh, oh, nope. No, 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 no. It seemed like the right spot. Wait, hold on. I don't. Okay. It was gold! Hell yeah, I got gold! Fuck yeah! Who are you? Where's my cat? <laughs> there they are! <laughs> I don't know how they do that, but great. I found gold, guys! I may need way more pine than this, though. That's the only thing. Hello, my friend. Leave me alone, please. I need my fresh air. Alrighty. Wait, are those baddies? No, they're not. Okay, so I have an idea of what I can do now that we did that. I have an idea. Because instead of, like, trying to spend all this time trying to find more of that stuff, which I'm sure I could do, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go up this way first. Well, I can always go here. Yes. Let's do this, and then we're going to head up that way and see if we can find more stuff. I just need as much material as I can get uh, because I need more trees, right? I need more trees. I got enough of that. I could probably make some pine planks, so I'm going to go do that real quick. I need to put some wawa in here. I'm also assuming somewhere up here is where I would get the dash ability. I can't say I know 100% sure, but I would assume it is somewhere up here. I also have not fed my sheepies in a while. Yeah, they're starving. Have an apple. You're not quite as hungry, but that's okay. I'm gonna still give you something. Cow still sleepy. Okay, I do need to water my trees. Because I need beaches. 
even though I don't really need peaches, I do need, because I'm guessing they're going to change their mind again. Once I get those going. But let me go to make my logs. I also haven't done anything with you in a while, but that's okay. Okay, so I do have 17 of these, which may be enough to get what I need here. All right, let's try this. We're going to do like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these. God, this, one, this one's hard for some reason. I don't know why. This one's not as bad. When they get those like jagged like lines, that's when I really struggle with it. Okay, this one's going to suck. It's better, a little better. Not great though. That was a good one. That is hard. Those jagged lines are tough to work with. Okay. That might be enough pine logs, though, to do what I need. Let me go see if that gives me what I need to build her house. Yes, I've got enough so I can build your house. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. You are going to be right he here. He here. No, nope, you're going to be right he he here. Maybe right here. I'm going to put you right there. There you go. There's your cubicle. All right. Then um, I need to improve. I need Gustav's thing. Which I need... Okay, so we need four gold ingots and one gold sheet. I got the marble I need, and then I need a crystal glass sheet as well. Okay, so let's go make some gold ingots. I should cook something while I'm doing that, though. Let's stop by here and make something with rice. I'm going to make something with rice. I don't know what I'm going to make with rice, but I'm going to make something with rice. I'm going to make rice, and I'm going to make beef and rice. That's what I'm doing. I don't know why I'm doing that, but I'm doing it. Okay, ingot time. Okay. So, we're going to put in a boot. I got plenty of this. I didn't do that. Thinking about making something rice with for rice dinner? for dinner? Sounds Me like too, actually. That Just sounds really remember, good. Rice is nice, but add a little spice to your life for an extra kick. There you go. Maybe some sassy seasoning to match your adventurous spirit. Get there you that go. rice dish sizzling and let the flavors dance on your taste buds. Mm. Oop, too much, too much, too much. Ah, okay. oh, it's too much, way too much. Okay. Gold is going to be hard, I can already tell. Because you have to, like, Time this right. Oh, too much. Yep, that's too much, but it's okay. Nope, it's not okay. Damn, this one's gonna be tough. Okay, okay, okay. So it looks like I need to get over here pretty quickly, get that going. I can let it sit for a minute. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, that's okay. We can let it sit for a minute. I can go there. Perfect. And go. Go. That might be... Oh, too much, too much. God damn it. Oh, it's going to kill me on that one. Oh, I, I panicked, I panicked. I panicked. That is my fault. Uh, I'm thinking of going with something with rice, too. I've been really craving it. I don't know why. Although that is, like, just, like, my go-to normal, like, meal. Like, I just love anything, like, stew or rice-based or something. I mix all the stuff together. That's usually my favorite kind of meal. You give me something with like, you know, a protein, uh, rice with like a sauce and like vegetables in it. I'm a happy camper. Uh, I have carrot shallot and water chestnuts. That has to be enough. It's done. It's done. Okay. Uh, I don't know what else to add for the a curry. You could with a nice sauce like that would be good. 
Okay, so I've got gold ingot. I think that should get me... I need rows. Hold on. Maybe I need to make another one. Another grouping of it. I'm hungry. Well, if it's dinner time, get on it. Oh, I just got a notation that the, uh, what is it? Final Fantasy VII Remake or Rebirth is out or the demo's out. Uh, I'm kind of on the fence about playing it. Although if you guys didn't see it the other night, um, I'm, I was ta I was, I was in, uh, was it King Panda's? Um, King Panda 95's stream the other night. And he has a, um, he has a, a, uh, a, a mod that is in place. Uh, they're just very long games for streaming, I guess. They are. But he has a mod for the game, for, like, the original one, the remake. And the remake had, um, or in his mod, he actually put his character model into the game to replace Cloud. And it was so cool. I've never seen anything like it. But it actually worked, and it was amazing. Uh, so I'm, I talk to, I'm going to talk to him and see if I can get that. And if we can get that going, um, I know, right? We're so smart. We are so like anything we can do to put our, our characters into things. We'll figure it out. We will find a way to do it. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to talk to him about, uh, how he got that done or who he worked with to do it. And if I can do it, then I will play, I will play the final fantasy remake on stream with my character model as cloud i'll do that for sure if that's something we can do i'll do it um but we'll see i mean it's a fun game regardless right what is happening right now somebody wants something oh we're at a box oh right boom Hey, we got an old... I got some onions, which is good because they do not give you a lot. Um, somebody wanted something. Oh, well. Well, this will do. Can't you multiplayer in that? Uh, in Final Fantasy? Look at that face. I'm sorry. I'll be right back to you on that. But what is this about? You are so intense. This will do. This will do nicely. But let me warn you. I need the bare minimum. Please do not add anything to these quarters. Not a single ornament. Interesting. Very interesting. In Final Fantasy, I don't know if you can multiplayer in Final Fantasy. I actually don't know if you can do that. You might be able to but I'm not aware of it. They should. Uh, that would be cool. I'm not sure what you would do with that. I guess like Final Fantasy is an interesting concept for like a multiplayer game. I would have to see how they arrange that, but I, I'm sure you could find a way to make it work. But I tell you this, if if I'm able to uh, add the same mod to an instance of Final Fantasy VII Remake, I'll do it. I will play it on stream, and if I'm able to do it, I'll do it. Uh, but I would also suggest go checking that out if you haven't. It is really cool. Um, then it'd be a monster game, I guess. It kind of would be. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you if you have the chance to go check it out, I would go check it out. King King is amazing. Um, and really, really an awesome streamer. So if you haven't checked them out, go check them out. They're amazing. Um, but yeah, if I can pull it off, I'll do it. I promise. You need some fid. You like carrots, right? I'm sure you do. I do want, I'm trying to figure out how my outfit changed. Because I feel like I did a different outfit, you know? Where are we right now? Oh. Okay, I'm gonna go up this way. I'm just gonna go this way. And we're just gonna see what that yields us. 
And then I need to go in here. I need to make something, right? I needed... Oh, I need a crystal glass sheet. I do need one of these. And then a rose gold sheet, which I can do. Okay. So let's start with this. It'll be weird. I'm going to play Elden Ring for a minute and die a bunch. Wish me luck. Okay, good luck. I know what that's like. I die a lot in that game. All right. Enjoy, Crispy. Okay, so I need rose gold sheet. Oh, wait. Did I need clear glass sheet? Huh. Okay. Let me go double check what I need here because I'm pretty sure I needed both of those things. Okay, improve Gustav. I did crystal glass sheet. I've got I've got everything I need. I can just make it. Bam, done. He's got it. Full improved. You're done. Now, what's her name? Um she said she doesn't want anything, but I can do it. Oh. Interesting. So should I not do it? Is she just saying that to say it? Or like, what's the deal? Quick Stella. Uh-oh. I'm I'm in trouble now. I'm here. What's happening? Quick, Stella. I'm stuck. Okay. Um, there you are. Ahem. It is with great pride and unbridled joy that I present to uh -huh. you humanity's legacy, my finest old oh shit. My finest exhibition yet. Not too bad, don't you think? An official uh -huh. opening? Oh, no, no, no. You know how I am. The spotlight is not for me. And besides... The vernissages are a waste of time. Uh -huh. Nothing about an opportunity for officials to run around liking, licking each other's, well, you know what I mean. Uh -huh. Well, then I entrust all of this to your good care. I know I can trust you to go, or I can trust you after uh -huh. I'm gone. Oh, don't act surprised. You very well know I'm not one to hang around any longer than necessary. I'm pretty confident I've done all I could uh -huh. here. Good old Gustav, always looking ahead. But it was quite exhilarating, this whole endeavor, wasn't it? Uh -huh. Well, as soon as we pass by the Evador, be in love and drop me off. Oh no. It will be appreciated. Oh no. Gustav wants to leave us. Oh no. I'm gonna miss Gustav. Uh -huh. This will surely turn some heads. Guys, I'm gonna miss. Oh my god, I'm gonna miss Gustav so much. Uh, hmm. Uh huh. Oh no. What does that mean? What is this all about? Oh, the void. We reached the void. Okay. Gustav wants to go to the Everdoor, guys. I don't know. That's sad to me. I'm going to miss Gustav. I mean, at this point, has he been with us longer than, like, pretty much anybody else? I feel like he has. I feel like he's definitely been here more than anybody else we've been with so far. He's kind of like that, you know, artsy, artsy, fartsy uncle that I just, I don't know what else we're going to do without him. And that's weird to me. The ship without... Can you guys imagine the ship without Gustav? That's so weird to me. That's a weird thing. That's a weird thing to think about. Ah, I see. Okay, so let's go over this way then.
Oh, my food's done. Forgot about that. Hold on. Whoop, nope. That's not what I'm doing. I, I did cook something. I don't remember what I cooked. What did I cook? Oh. Casserole. <laughs> I got some casserole. Good stuff. Okay. Um, who needs food? You went into your house for some reason. Do you like casserole? Would you eat it if I gave you casserole? Yes, you would. Okay, great. Good. Can I hug you? All right. Don't tell no one. Okay, so we are Misty Woods. Interesting. We found something over here. Okay. So, hold on. Before we get anywhere, I don't really know. I need dash. I know that. I need dash. What if we just... Oh, you're Misty Woods. Okay. Well. Okay. Let's go here and then here. And then we're going to go here. That's our plan. In the meantime, I need to see what we need to do. So I need peaches and I need... Dash, I need bring Gustav to the Everdoor. Oh. Jackie wanted something. I didn't realize that. Okay, hold on. I didn't realize Jackie needed something. So let's do that. Hold on. Let's do this. Let's do. Oh, there's another thing here. Let's do this. And then let's go to Overbrook here. And that's what we'll do. What do you want? Yes, yes, I see you. I need to water some things first. I also need to check on my beaches. There's those things. Hold on. I need to touch some beaches. <laughs> Who's volunteering first? Yes, yes, yes. It could be your beaches. Outrageous. I missed. I got limestone. I got something. I got crystal slant. Crystal shit. What do you want? What? Oh, the humiliation. Wow, that's a new animation for you. I'm absolutely livid. You wouldn't believe what just happened. Some no good foul mouthed miscreant just had the audacity to call me. I can't even say it. I'm art collector. Completely, utterly unacceptable. Who? I won't tell you. I'm a man of honor, of principle, certainly not of a petty daddle day. Huh? Art collector. As if I were one of those base mercantile creatures. What an insult. Narrow minded fool. I'm no art collector. I'm a curator. I do not amass, evaluate, weigh, or risk. I do not trade. I protect. I alone ensure the legacy of humanity's greatest achievements. What? Are we reacting? Have you gone mad? Oh, I thought better of you, Stella. Uh -huh. Then again, perhaps crude sensitivities need to be cultivated. And then perhaps it is always the essential role of the curator. As usual, you get me thinking, Skipper. Maybe I'll cool down just a bit. Some good may yet come of this. All right, well, good luck. The Lean That Streams is proud to support an ongoing donation drive right here on Twitch for the Lemur Conservation Foundation. If you want to support the stream in an awesome way and can afford it, check Why it out. Why is it getting so dark? To learn more, check out the link in chat. Is that the normal? Is that normal? Not 100% certain. Oh, my chickadees. Chick, chick, chickadee. Okay, that's a lot of eggs. I got so many eggs now. 
Could you imagine if Stanley was still here? I'd have breakfast for days. I still ain't got no peaches, though. Ain't got no peaches. I'm moving to the country. Gonna get myself some peaches. I also should cook. Are you guys hungry? <laughs> yes, you are. Right? I can't believe um my boy my boy is is getting so riled up right before I take it to the Everdoor. We'll probably do that pretty soon uh, because I probably could use the flower. It's going to be a bummer. I don't know what his thing is 100%. So he's kind of become like a staple of the ship. You know what I mean? Okay. So what can we cook with eggs? What did we just slam into? I'm going to do egg and uh, what is this? Ooh, onions. We'll do egg and... No, I don't have enough of those. I'll do egg and olive, I guess. No, potatoes. Eggs and potatoes. We'll do that. There we go. What are we... Where are we? Oh. We're at Overbrook. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to go see what Jackie wants because Jackie wanted something. And then we can continue on to the Everdoor. I'm pretty sure that is the next thing. Oh, I also need to go to Nordweiler at some point. So we'll get that pretty soon. Oh, hey, Jackie. Are you up by the patient up here? I'm really curious who this patient is, too, because, like, that's a kind of a mystery at this point. You're not here. Are you in here? Wait a minute. Jackie? Where's... Jackie? Where? How do I get out there? Uh. I got a diamond? A diamond? Holy shit. Is are you up here? Oh. An old guitarist. Who are you? Am I not allowed to speak to them? Okay. Where... Oh. Whoop. Wait, where's Jackie at? Okay, play the strange melody in the difficult patient's room. Oh. Interesting. Alright, I'll give it a shot. I'm not sure how to do that? I know there is like a, a rhythm mini game. Alright, how do you how do you do that? Oh, here we go. Ooh. Very mysterious, but very beautiful. You. It's I. Are you there? I mean, really there? It's... Of course you are. I have that quality. Some fine dust following you around. You're dirty more so than the rest. The ground around you falls down. It's... Is it? It is. 
Perhaps it's the music. It feels like a beacon, a light shining through the mist. No, it doesn't. I'm sorry. I'm not used to talking anymore. My voice comes with difficulty. It rare, so rarely does. More often than not, my voice comes whether I want it or not. It barks or whistles, no choice. But right now, it doesn't. Yes, that's right. I understand now. Stella, isn't it? We met so long ago. I wasn't here yet. You were much older. Your music is harsh, Stella. It was not a beacon. It is an anchor. Large and heavy. Backbreaking. And it might be razor sharp as well. I've yet to decide. To. I will. I. Oh. Rise and shine. Time for your. What the shit? Smellers? What are you doing up here? Oh, you got curious, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, I can't blame you. Nutcases are often fascinating spectacle. But I've seen you already met, Miss, uh, I don't want to take my pills. Pretty much over underwhelming, right? The doctors, they call it uh, catatonia. They just stay this here, still, for hours. Pretty freaky, right? But I swear, half the time she's pretending just to spite me. You should see when she starts chatting, she's quite some. An ancient one. Omnipotent and shit. I'm on to you, Daria. Oh, uh, might be a real one. Hey, Daria, you there? It's your friend, Jackie. Blink once if you hear me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one seems like a doozy. I don't think she's faking it. Let's leave her to it, okay? Okay. She she spoke to me. So what what about happened in there? Uh, you see how she reacted to your presence? She's a mess right now. I know you're trying to help, but things ain't so easy. You can always just pull a smile and problems away. Trust me, the best thing for her is just to stay up there and not excite her. So please, don't go back up there. You're just hurting her. Got it? Mm -hmm. What's that? She sent you a strange message through the pager? Yeah, these, uh, my bad. They were someone else. Just, uh, don't worry about it, okay? And also, uh, let's keep this between you and me, okay? What management doesn't know won't hurt them. You wouldn't want Jackie to be in trouble now, would you? Nope, I guess I wouldn't. That's interesting. Clearly, clearly she knows me, but it feels very, very interesting because, like, she said she met me, but I was much older then. Where am I? Holy shit, where am I right now? How did I get here? You're the spirit bearer, aren't you? That's what I thought. You're not the spirit bearer. You're the only liar. I am the spirit fair. I was chosen by Karen to, to find spirits and lead them to the afterlife. You've been doing my job. You just showed up at spirit fairing offices and started calling yourself Gary. Yeah, my name is Gary. I am the real spirit fair. Oh. You saw an opening and you took it. You want a shock, aren't you? Well, this would have never happened if I had ever lost the Everlight Karen oh. gave me. You should fall asleep next to a pond once you pay for the rest of your life. So listen up. You might be a liar. As a cheat, but I know you're a decent oh. person. I can feel it. That's one of the gifts of being a spirit fairer. To feel people out oh. there. You would know that if you was a real spirit fairer. Anyways, I think it's your duty to help me out. From a fake spirit fairer, that's you, towards the real spirit fairer, that's oh. me. You can go back to whatever you were doing and I'll be I'll go back to being the spirit fairer. Like I said, I was chosen by Karen, not you. Lucky for you, this shouldn't be too hard. My Everlight is somewhere in the water close by. You just have to go out and fish it out. Just don't take your boat too far from this place. Uh, it should be in the water near Overbrook. Okay. Where am I right now? 
Interesting. I didn't know there was like a whole second area out here. That is something else. Is this doing anything? It is locked. I get it. Okay. Well, well, well. Is this, like, part of the hospital, though? Huh. Like, it kind of must be, but very interesting. So, this guy says that there is his Everlight somewhere in this area. I didn't know that was over there. That's nuts. So, he's saying the Everlight, he thinks, is somewhere near Overbrook. Uh, which may be true. I didn't mean to do that. Ah. Ha. But that, that bat creature, that bat spirit has to be something, right? So that is an interesting thing. Let me check something here. Uh, new beginnings. Build a new guest house. Oh. That's a good point. I should probably do that. Talk to someone in Fuigawa and Hummingbird. I need bear. I got so many things. Find the fight score in Nordweiler. I need to go to Nordsey Pier. I have a lot of stuff over that. Okay. Around the waters of Overbrook. But where? I mean, it could be anywhere around here, right? I guess if I had to make a guess on it. How far is Nordweiler? You're Misty Woods. Nordweiler. Nordweiler is up here, right? Yeah, it is. Sheep. They got sheep. Okay. So, I'm going to go over here. We're going to go here, and then I'm going to go here. I got to check on people, make sure they're all doing okay. I got a bunch of sunflowers in the... I think they might be done. Which is good, because I do need them for my chickadees. Do I have any rice to plant? I do not, but I can do garlic. Hell yeah. I am a little short on the garlic seeds. And I don't have a lot of sugar. So let's do those three things. I didn't see nothing. If there was anything... Again. I'm working on it. Okay, I'm working on the peaches. I didn't mess up. You told me the wrong thing. That is still on you, okay? Ooh. Egg salad. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, so are my peaches good? Where are my peaches at? How are my peaches doing? Sweet pea. I could go for a snack. I could go for a snack too, but you don't see me complaining. Okay, peach trees still in the works. We're still in the works with peach trees. That's okay. We'll get there. But before a gift, what do you mean? Here's some bio glow. Don't be shy. Maybe it's, oh, you like spicy things. I forgot about cows. Cow. I can milk you. I'm going to milk you. I'm going to milk you good. All right, guys. Um, 
Whoa, I got something from Jackie. What do you want? Ah, yeah. Too busy to fix it. Agent, please come. Okay, Jackie, I got something I got to do, and then we will do it. All right. Before we go help Jackie out, I think it's time, guys, to say goodbye to Gustav. So we're... We're going to do that. Is he over here? Yeah, okay. We're going to send Gustav off to the next phase of existence. I still have to find more stoof. All right, let's go do this. We're going to go here. All right, here we are. Let me make sure everybody's good before I go too far. Hey oh. I'm sure you could find something nutritious for me. Yes, I could. This is your last meal. So I'm going to give you something real good. I don't know what. Do you want this chai latte? What about this meat stew? Ooh. Here you go. I'll try that. Oh, my goodness. I... I never would have thought it would be possible to sink my teeth into something extraordinary delight again. Stella, you updated yourself. Simply brilliant. So something is not for the weak-willed, not for the faint-hearted. But for me, it definitely is. I could eat two buckets of it. Hug me. Last time. Well, good. Let's not make this a habit. We already did, buddy. We already did. Okay, we are here. Uh, I need to make sure everybody's in good condition before I head out. Kid, I didn't mean to go in here. You're hungry. I'll give you some food. You want some pub food? I don't know if I've got any. I'll give you this. This is fine. Okay. Free grub, finally. No. Okay. Fair enough. All right, where is everybody else at? I don't know where Snooty Dog is. <laughs> Snooty Popo, where'd you go? I'm looking for you. I don't know where you are. Snooty Pup. Snooty Pup. Snooty Pup. Oh, my. The Snooty Pup. Snooty Pup. Snooty Pup. Are you in your home? You're not in your home. The Snooty Dog. Snooty Dog. Where is the snooty dog? Where is the snooty dog? What are you doing? I don't know what you're doing, but I... Uh, that's fine. Also, where's old bird? I don't know where anyone is. They're all hiding. Oh, I need the water. Well, we'll just go ahead and head towards the door. I don't know where Snooty Dog. There she is. I found her. Whoa. Snooty Pup. Stop. I need a meal. I agree, but I don't necessarily know what you like. Here, have some coffee. Thank you. Fall on me. Okay, where's old Burb? Okay, guys, this one's going to be interesting because I do feel like a strong attachment to Gustav. He's he's kind of an interesting dude, but he's just... He's been here for so long. Like, I feel like we've been working with Gustav forever now. Let's go. Uh -huh. I gather you're all ready to take me away. Very well, onwards. Like, I like Gustav a lot. I really do. I love his character design. His animations are some of my favorites in this game. Um, I feel a strong attachment to him. 
So it's going to be weird when he's gone. Because, like, he's been part of this ship for so long now. Oh, you're good. All right, here we go, guys. These are always the toughest part of this game. This is the toughest part. But it's so good. It's so satisfying. Uh -huh. It seems to me you were quite surprised by my request to leave. And it seems to me you still are. But you have to understand, Stella, uh -huh. that everything is but a meaningless arrangement of atoms. Everything you've ever known, seen, or experienced. Fortuitous circumstances. Uh -huh. In the universe, in the universe of chaos, humanity emerged, not a tiny bit more purposeful than the rest, but with an incredible faculty, that of creating meaning, however fleeting it might be. Uh -huh. I have no inherent meaning, neither do you, but we can create, organize, put in order. Uh -huh and thus create purpose and meaning. Transcend the primordial chaos. Allow of humankind, all of humankind does so. Uh -huh. We create machines that are useful to take control. Machines like a chair, the ones that subsumed me. Oh, uh -huh. but maybe also that made me truly realize what an impermanence means. For our numerous creations have only useful meaning as long as they are useful. And when they are finally are uh, they are finally unneeded, um. once again do they turn to the heaps of metal and wood and bones. Melted back into the universal chaos, stripped of their inherent humanity. Uh-huh. And all our bodies and all our minds in a similar fashion. So I get the feeling, because I know he's talked about the chair a lot, so that means that he was probably confined to a wheelchair. Maybe that's why he was a bird. You know, his spirit kind of felt like it wanted to fly away. And so the vibe I got from him is that I think he likes being in control of things. Because I get the feeling he lost a lot of control um, as he got older. So I have a feeling what it could have been um and i want to say gustav might have been like multiple sclerosis or something like that which is devastating um if it is something like that because i can't imagine somebody who likes to be in control and artistic and creative but then losing the very thing his body in a slow fashion like that that's got to be something I don't... That is what happened, yes? Okay, gotcha. I don't know what to do about this. Uh -huh. Usefulness is an easy way to meaningfulness, but not a trustworthy one. It vanishes as quickly as we do. Uh -huh. And so it seems the only hope humanity has for transcendence, transcendence is through art. Meaningfulness pulled from our chaotic minds. Not for utility, uh -huh. but for its own sake. And after the artist has been long gone, turned to dust, uh -huh. the art remains. And even after the last one of us all humans will have returned to the primor primordial chaos, uh -huh. provided that we have protected it, art will remain. Uh -huh. And so... That is all to learn is left in our wake. The only veritable form of transcendence to go to ever have been in our grasp. Proof of our existence and our pitiful efforts to raise from the chaos. Uh -huh. As would some unknown script for long gone power.
Uh -huh. Oh, we're here. Uh -huh. Well, well, now, Estella. Ozymandias beckons. Let's go. Oh. Hmm. Farewell, Gustav. It gets worse every time. <laughs> it can. Um, I think. I think there's definitely sequences that have hit me harder than others. This one isn't quite getting me as much as, say, like Stanley's, or uh, and I don't even know why. Like Stanley just freaking devastated me, um, and I don't even know why. Because like I didn't. I felt like we barely got to know Stanley. Maybe it's because Stanley was a child, and that there's like that whole sequence of in his, in his like speech really got me. Um, I would say Alice really got me. Um, Gustav, I kind of got the feeling he was just ready, and it was peaceful. And if it was multiple sclerosis, God, that is such a difficult disease to go through. Uh, I, I mean, obviously I've never done it cause like you would know if I did, but like, um, just from what I've seen of it, I think sometimes towards the end for people with multiple scores, I, and I know this is going to sound horrible, but like sometimes, especially at the end, sometimes letting go and leaving is a blessing. And sometimes you just, you're ready to go. You're ready to go. And I kind of got the feeling that Gustav was just ready to go. And that might be good for him. It's time for him to... Oh, we're back here. Okay. Okay, so that is Stella, the the yellow. We've kind of established so that might have been Gustav right there. Is that Gustav? Huh. Whoa. What happened there? Because it's almost saying like Gustav and he was in the hospital and then Stella kind of left into the woods <laughs> or something of that nature. Maybe she took that one really hard. I don't know. Oh. Oh, because that is Stella. Oh. What happened to Stella? Kids join the conspiracy on Discord, so I can see why you are not there. Just saying. For the last time, feeble and helpless, a faint murmur drifting into silence. Whispered words, a simple question. Why did you choose this life, Stella? Why did you choose to spend it ushering others through their final moments? 
Was your vocation an affectionate duty, born of compassion? Or a display of selfishness, of everlasting uncertainty? Did you do it for them, or for yourself? To know me, to and grow accustomed to my presence, to conquer me? Am I less daunting to you now? Am I still a ghastly shadow, a deafening absence? Remember, when your body failed, you knew. You'd seen it a thousand times. You knew I would come. You fought valiantly, yet suffered all the same. I was deep within your heart, as I had always been. In your final moments, you accepted my call. You slowly draw your last breath, and here we are. And you know this is the end, but you're not alone embraced by the love of your mother, and now your sister. She is here holding your hand. Go now. You're not alone. Wow. So, oh man, okay. Um, I mean, very clearly, that is telling us that Stella... Ooh, um, definitely telling us that Stella died. And I think that's what this all actually is, right? So, like, when we talk about what this story is, I really do think this is not necessarily about Stella heriting or, you know, heralding these lost souls through to their final moments. I don't think that's what it is at all. I think it actually is. Stella working through her final moments and going over what she did for a living. Because I'm guessing she she was, like I said, I, I think she is definitely someone who worked with people who died. I don't know what her exact vocation was, but she definitely worked with people who died. And then... Probably Gustav was one of the final ones. Maybe. But then her time came. That's so interesting. These peaches are getting close to being ready, so that's good. But that means that Stella, this whole thing is about her on her deathbed, right? Like she's basically, or she's already accepted death, it seems like. But she's working through that in her mind, and I think that's what this whole thing is about, is her working through her life, what she had to go through, the types of things she put herself through, That, mm. I don't really know. Like, what what all did she do? And then, like, that question at the end, like, was she doing this for these other people, or was she doing it for herself? That's a really interesting question. I guess if you were somebody who did stuff like this, Maybe that would be a question you would think about, right? Like, maybe that is something you would consider. Is, like... <gasps> no meat, ever! Okay, my bad. I didn't realize you, you didn't want meat. Um... Yeah, that's such an interesting question. Because, like, how would you know? Like, maybe you do have the best of intentions, but sometimes we do things... 
even if we can tell ourselves it's for the best of intentions, maybe it really isn't. That's a tough one. And what are we doing here? Oh, wait. Where's my... My turtle friend. Are we at the turtle friend? Hey, there you are. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I mean, I'm pretty sure that this whole story is about Stella uh, and her trying to accept death for herself. And then her life has been very heavily involved in death. That's very, very eye-opening. Ooh, this game gets better and better, doesn't it? Because, like, it really is asking some very difficult questions. So what we're going to do, uh, because I am short on a bunch of stuff, I'm going to plant gold here. Um, I've also... What is that? Oh, wait. I guess I didn't do it. What is that? Zinc. I'm short on zinc. So we're going to put some gold in here. I'm going to put some zinc. Apparently, I'm short on zinc. And then um, I'm also going to plant some of these. Okay. Della! Are you all done there? All right. I'll see you later then. Okay, bye. I guess with that, then we have to get back to Jackie who needs something. Because they did give me the old the powers out. And it's like, well, that's interesting. So let's get over here. And then while I'm doing that, let's go get Gustav's spirit flower. And see what that's all about. How weird. It already feels weird not having Gustav around, you know? He was such a staple of the ship. What can I do with milk? Milk and... It's weird every time? Yeah, it feels really strange. Milk and sawdust. Let's do that. Um... All right, I'm going to try doing... What is... Oh, I got urchin. Milk and... Uh, I don't know. Let's do milk and uh, glue. Let's do milk and tea. Let's do both of those. I don't know what that's... Probably going to be more chai, I guess. No, I don't, maybe not. Let's see what it does. All right, let's go to Jackie. Again. I'm working on the peaches. They're almost ready. I'm working on it. Chill, relax. Just be friendly. You're fine. Rat, rat, rat. All right, let's go to Overbrook here. Let's go here. I should go check on those peaches. Sweet pea. I'm sure... Oh, I sure am hungry. I gotta... It's gotta be the fact I haven't eaten in a while. Well, you, you've eaten pretty recently, so you can't really say that. Do you want some bouillabaisse? bays? Okay, give me a hug, old lady. She has to be next, right? I mean, I guess it's that or Bruce, but... English tea? Interesting. You know who would have liked that? You know who would have liked that? Wait. They're not ready. Oh, 
bla, 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 bla. Patat, patat, potato, patat. Turn up. And a bunch of stuff. Ooh. That's a pretty good amount of stuff. Okay, so let's do another mystery one. I do like mystery stuff. Uh, let's do some karats. And we'll do some... Lettuce. So here's the question I have. Uh, what's her name? The, the snooty dog doesn't want me upgrading her cabin, but uh, there are options to do it. And so I don't know if I'm supposed to like go against her wishes here and just do it or if I'm supposed to not do that. I'm not 100% certain on that, so... It is a good question. Snooty Dog. Snoot Dog? Oh, the legendary rap artist. Perhaps he's cooking up a new song or maybe a batch of his famous brownies. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows what's on his menu today? Let's hope it's some tasty tunes for the ears and a She gets upset if you do it. Got it. Oh, Ow, it's you. Phew, I'm actually relieved. Say, when you started smelling like sulfur, I thought it was a volcano about to go off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perhaps I was having a stroke. Luckily, it's only smell arts natural B.O. <laughs> anyway, thanks for coming so quick. As you can see, I'm swamped again, and the hospital's main power converter just shut down. Again. I swear, the crap this management puts us through. Don't worry, it happens all the time. The hospital's running off a backup power generator right now, but if that goes AWOL, well, let's not think about that. An electrician really should be here fixing the main power converter, but I've managed to f just fine until now. It's really simple, really. Take this key, it unlocks the elevator at the far east of the hospital. Once you're up there, you gotta find the fuse box and, uh, just press all the buttons till you hear a noise. That's what I usually do. Thanks for the help. Okay. I know where that is now. I also am aware that I need to get um, Dash somewhere, but I'm not 100% certain where I get that. Oop. So I gotta find Dash somewhere. I know it does exist somewhere, but not 100% though where that would be, but we'll get it. Also, since we're up near like the Nordweiler area, we'll uh, we'll see what we can do. That did something, I assume. We. Over here. I see the main power's back on. Super. Uh, did you just uh, use my patent mesh every button randomly technique? I swear, I could be an engineer. Their job is a joke. The whole engineering thing is a scam anyway. It just was uh, French kissing out of wires. You, we get it. Another way of rich people just to keep rich while shitting on us poor for their ivory towers. We should uh, organize, start a revolution or something, you know? Take arms, comrades, and shit. <laughs> and I should write a pamphlet for one of these days. Mm -hmm. A proper one, like a political and stuff. Sometimes, when I'm in the shower, I have these thoughts you wouldn't believe. Just like, great stuff. But I guess I can't really take that, uh, take the time off. This whole place would fall apart without me. I can't do those things to people, these people, right? Ah, uh, that stinks. Mm -hmm. Not as much as you, but still, pretty smelly stuff. Hey, thanks, Stellas. As always, you're a pearl. I got it from here. Okay.
I'm sure this is going somewhere. I'm just not 100% sure where that's going just yet. But definitely interesting storyline wise. All right, let's take a look here. So I need the peaches. I got another flower. Wait, why? What? Oh. I know, I know. I'm late. I couldn't get off work earlier. Parking in this part of town is a mess. And this place is a maze. Listen to me. I'm um, going on about parking. And look at you. Are you awake? Are you holding on? Can you hear me, sis? Can you say, Lily is my favorite sister for me? This is my sister? Well, it's true. I'm your only sister. You don't have a choice there. I wish I could hear your voice. I'd rather you have you screaming, Lily, get out of my room. I'd rather have you hear you have you laughing. I'd even rather have you snoring. Let me come a bit closer. Mom's asleep. It's late, I know. Jeez, I'm two hours late. Sorry again. No wonder Mom's passed out. Oh, I have a surprise for you. I swung by the house yesterday and, and, and got some things. Well, two things. First, where is it? Oh, there we are. A uh, viola. <laughs> a bottle of a uh, single malt from Mom's secret stash. Don't worry. I'll do the drinking and talking for both of us. And this. Your, your photo album. It's got some good ones. Cute baby pictures. Big uh, family gatherings. Embarrassing uh, college parties. The works. Let, let's start from the beginning. Stella, the adorable baby. Jeez, being this cute should be illegal. Give me a second, I'll... Uh, I'll pour myself a drink. Oh, uh, look at this one. You're so tiny. Where was this taken? What does it say in the back of the picture? Colmar, Alice Ace, 1973. Is this, like, literally a representation of my sister, like, on my deathbed? Oh my god, that's so... Oh. That is unbelievable. I don't know how to feel about that one. I'll just take these eggs <laughs> and be on my way. I still don't have any peaches, though. Wow. I mean, this game... Wow. Lily's light lets you transverse the darkness and travel through the night. Oh, really? Huh. How do I... Do I just have that now, or do I have to go get, like, an upgrade or something? Because that is a game changer if that... You just have it? Oh, that's cool. Okay. Well, that's good then. That'll save us some time, for sure. Um, I need to go... Oh, does that let us go out in here? Like, in, in this, um... In this dark area? Oh. Okay. Um... No, the map is still the map. Got it. Okay, okay, gotcha. Okay, so I think what we're going to do then is, um, where am I right now? I'm over here. Okay. So there was something, somebody said something about the water near Overbrook. And then there was, um, that's not what I wanted. Um, hold on. There was something I could get, right? Like a... Uh, 
Hold on. Something... Fish around the waters of... Oh, oh, I just need to fish around it. Oh. Okay. So if I do... If I just fish here, is that... Is that good enough or is it not good enough? I don't know. We'll find out. A light bulb. I'm guessing I shouldn't do it right here. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave Overbrook, but I'm not going to go too far. I'm just going to go, like, right here. I will say this game is taking some very interesting turns. And I think we're right. I think we're absolutely right that the, the whole moral of this is just Stella working through her final days. Which is such a unique take to a game, right? Like, that is such a unique setup. So I'm supposed to do some fishing around here. And I should find something for this guy. I don't know if I'm supposed to actually get it to him, but we'll see. Well, I just got a glim bottle. That's not what I wanted, though. And there's a bunch of little side missions I would like to try and do before we get too far into it, but... Well, I got a lot of small glim bottles. I just don't know exactly where I'm supposed to go for this item. Clearly it's not here though. I thought you just uh, you could just fish docked at the hospital. Maybe you can. Um, we could try it. I would. I did do that, but I thought that didn't work. But that's okay. We'll give it a shot. Because I only did it once, and I got like a light bulb or something. Unless that was it. Oh, I did. Okay, so I did find it. That's what it was. Okay, that's what he wants. Got it, got it, got it, got it. All right, that makes sense. So let's go see what he wants then. When the bobber is shaking, start really. He's the real spirit fairer light. Yeah, his real... Okay. I mean, part of me is like, obviously he's lying, but like, I'm also going like, how would he know about that? You have it. The Everlight. Well, thank you very much. Your services will no longer be required. Bye. Au revoir, sayonara. Your reign of terror is finally over. I will retake my place as the one and only spirit fairer. I just need to remember how to turn this thing on. I'll figure it out by myself. Okay. Good luck, buddy. Good luck. I uh, wish you the best. Okay, so I do need to go a couple of different places. And one of those is way up here, because I need to go to, like, Nordweiler. So, I think that's what we're going to do. I never really went here. Where am I right now? Okay, let's do that. So, let's go... Let's get some materials. Let's get this. And then we'll just go here and here. We're just going to get a couple of material things, and then we'll we'll use that fast travel to get to the Nordweiler area. Okay. Ah! My glasses! No! 
How could you? Better check out my peaches. Gotta go check. Oh, my peaches are so far up here. They're still not there. All right, that's fine. I guess I should check on... So what do I have left to do? Because I think I did all of... I didn't do all of these. I thought I did all of her stuff. Okay, it's interesting how different you build the fairy than I did. Well, I tried to kind of keep it like residential on one side and like all of my industrial stuff on the other. That was at least the plan. I don't know if I pulled it off, but I that, that was the in, initial goal. I need zinc ore and I need uh, freaking oak. All right, well, we can do that. I just don't have any zinc, I think. I'm pretty short on zinc. I need oak planks, though. Oh, here we are. Because I wanted to make sure that everybody's, like, house was on one side and then, you know, made it work that way. That was my goal. I just had a different room placement and put the gardens up at the top for some reason. I mean, whatever works best, right? I think that's kind of the fun part of this game, right? There's no rules. So, yeah, it doesn't really matter. As long as you can make it fit, right? As long as you can make it fit. Okay, oak. I need oak. Now let's do like five oak. There we go. Oak, oak, oak. Oak, my joke. I still think I'm short on zinc. I don't think I've got any zinc. What am I doing? I am heading towards more boxes. Got it. Okay. And I really, really need those peaches. Really need peaches. So what we might do is get this next part of the story going. Try and get some of those like items built for um, Bird Lady. Uh, and then we'll also try and get some of these side missions done. We really haven't done a lot of those. I've really been neglecting my side missions. Hard shell clam. Well, it's a good thing it's not a soft shell one because it would have died a long, long ago. Can't get up. I'm stuck. Help. There we go. We're good. All right. Peaches. Peachy weechies. Uh, have you ever had soft shell crab? I think I have yeah, for have sure. Watched. I see you. If you have not hit follow. I it's not my favorite. Why not just do it? Come on. Ah, peaches. Yum, yum, yum. Nom, nom, nom. Okay. So I have peaches now, and I've got eggs. I got one egg. <laughs> Am I short on these? Is that what the deal is? Don't like eating crustaceans? Um, sometimes. It's not my favorite thing, but sometimes I'm okay with it. 
Um, it just kind of depends. Whoa! I went so far. Didn't mean to go that far. Scout. What's your problem? You ruined this whole operation. The buyer is very specific about his cargo. What am I going to do with these par carrots and peaches? You're the worst partner I've ever had. You can't even get a simple order straight. My brother would never mess up like this. I don't think it's going to work out. Let's go. You weren't ready to step up. I shouldn't have trusted you. Ah, shit. Listen, let's go. I know a place. It's called the oven. Really? You have to eat it right after it's caught. That makes sense. We should go now. Really? Just like that, huh? I mean, I know we don't have to be friends and it's kind of been a tumultuous relationship from the start, right? Like that, that's always kind of been a thing. It's always kind of been a thing with them. It's kind of a tumultuous relationship. But I get the feel I like what we what we know what we know about them uh is that Bruce, you know, his brother was in like some sort of they were both like in a criminal enterprise and then his brother got into an accident of some sort. And I I'm guessing he was in a coma and or like died. And I don't know what happened to Bruce exactly, but I know, I mean, he definitely, you know, is lost without his brother. Or so it seems. That seems to be the way that goes. I'm gonna go check this place out, and then I'm probably gonna do that. Um, these two are interesting. I don't know how I feel about them specifically. Like, as far as characters go, they're good characters. I just don't know what to make of them and their relationship to us. Take gold? Don't mind if I yes? And copper. That's quite a bit of stuff. But yeah, so like, I don't really know what, like, how I'm going to feel about them specifically. Because they are, yeah, they were pretty like pretty distant and like very interesting oh my friends here hold on how are you doing i'm going to sell some things to you i have things to sell i have lots of money now boot stop blip 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 there we go all right bye Why am I going up? I don't know. Oh, uh oh. Are you hungry? I, I don't know if I fed you recently. I knitted this for you earlier. I should keep it in nice warm in the weather. Uh, ever takes turn for the worse. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're very kind. Even if you can't remember me. <laughs> uh, she'll eat almost anything. I think. Let's give you one of these. Oh, thank you. Okay. I guess I didn't consider that 
these these were the two. Bruce and Mickey were going to be the ones that were going to go next, you know? I didn't consider that part of it. Ooh, interesting. All right, let's go do this. Man, I got so many things I got to do. <laughs> Okay, so meet with the meet with the lily at the hummingbird shrine during nighttime. Interesting. Okay, I can do that. And then acquire the dash ability. Like father, like son. I need to go to Nordweiler. And then I've got a bunch of things up in that area I need to do. I do need to go to Fuagawa and Hummingbird. I might just have to go, you know. Uh, I might just have to like, whoa, 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 whoa. That's where I want to go. Where are you going? Okay, let's go do this, and then we'll really start concentrating on some other things. This was, I'm, I'm really torn on this one. I really am. Because, like, obviously it's going to be sad, and I'm sad to see another, you know, long-time member of our team go. But I guess I don't really know how to feel about it. It's going to be really interesting. Okay, here we go. put some corn on let's do whatever this one's gonna be it's not letting me do this anymore okay we're done with this for now i guess um where's my boys bro say there they are there they are all right so i'm gonna take another quick break before we do this sequence and then we'll be right into it we're gonna say goodbye to bruce and mickey once and for all so give me one second guys i'll be right back Yes. That tail's cute. Oh my gosh. I have, a, I have awoken, Jojo, you've awoken. Mixer. Good. I'm glad. Okay, we're, still doing, we're still doing we're still doing double. Oh, sorry. Uh -huh. Oh no bother. No bother. Forward and lowered his voice. That's weird. That's a little weird. Stranger danger. Stranger danger. No, 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 no. I see you have something for me. Yes, Gran has some jam I'm supposed to give you. You leaned in a bit further. Stranger danger! Jam? I don't know. What is it? It's not good news. Well, I guess that. You got tuberculosis. Aww. Uh, really sorry, please, son. It's a hell of a thing. <laughs> oh, good timing there, Fuzzy. Yeah, yeah. Tuberculosis. <laughs> bomb, bomb, bomb. Yeah, that was great. That was good. Good timing. Do you think my mom would be disappointed in me? Dis disappointed that I had to go? I tried. I really tried. But... I don't think I did it. I like it when I win, but I couldn't this time. I think it's okay. It's okay to lose sometimes. I really think it is. Ooh, I think. Oh, yeah, I just saw that myself. Ah, oh, indeed. Oh goodness, the Stanley clip. That was a tough one. That one did hit hard. I don't know why you're way the frick up here. <laughs> Get down from there. All right, Scout. We need to talk. I've been 
You know how I've been. Wanna go somewhere? Alright. The Stanley one was so tough because, like, it's just hearing that from his their position was so hard. Hey, listen, let's just get on. I can't do this job without my brother. Let's just get on and talk it through. All right. Like, I do feel like I do feel like that's the thing is like Bruce has been really lost and like really, really lost without Mickey. And, like, despite all their flaws and, like, what they did for a living, I, I could tell that they were a very close pair. I didn't plan for this life for me and my brother. They used to call me the Taka. I could talk your ear off. I would never shut up. However, right now, I don't want to talk. I should just be like my brother and take a moment. Pause and listen. Yeah. And thank for a change. That chance. <laughs> At my age, nothing is possible. Nobody changes. Anybody tells you otherwise is lying. Or trying to sell you something. The only thing I'd rather be is true to myself. That might make me an asshole in the end. That might make me a loyal brother to this man here. None of this shit matters. None of it. Do you know why we're here? It's because I have a small imagination. I can't see beyond my back streets, my town, my friends, my family. More importantly, I can't see a life beyond my brother. If he goes, I go. Funny thing is, he went a long time ago. I just didn't want to admit it to myself. Hey. I was holding on to something from the past. My reputation. My house. Hey. My car. Whatever it was. It was nice while it lasted. Hey. It just doesn't change anything. Any way you slice it, we're still a Maria's kids from the South Broad. Broad. Nothing's gonna ch ever change. Not even in the end. Hey. All right, Mickey. Deep breaths. Yeah, I just kind of get that feeling like Bruce. I don't think Bruce knew how to go on in life without Mickey. I don't think he knew how to do it. Let's go see what everyone has uh, been raving about. Hey. I'll send you a postcard, kid. like a virgin on prom night goodness me goodness me spice how are you doing by the way hope you're doing well you know they they were he was an asshole and and they obviously did some pretty bad things but i guess that was the point right like i guess if you do grow up in a situation where like you were very close to a sibling or, or your family was a big part of your life like that losing a brother in that way or someone that's just so important in your life must be really hard 
and like trying to find your way after that if, if like if your sole existence was based on that relationship man that must have been tough he, he clearly didn't know what he was gonna do or couldn't find worth in himself based on that that's really interesting okay well i guess with that uh, one thing I did want to do is I do want to get here because I need, uh, I need the, I need the zinc, I think. Hi, Lily. That's eerie, though. The whole Lily thing is very eerie. I'm not going to lie. Hey, the good news is I've got, um, you ain't ready for some future things. Am I not? Well, we'll see. We'll see. Oh. We're, uh, we're doing what we can get through. I'm not going to do this event. Whew. What'll be interesting is to see, like, I do need to get some more stuff going. I got some peaches upstairs. I'm going to get some more sunflower seeds because I need to make sure my chickadees are good shape. And uh, we'll go from there. But I'm going to try and get to my turtle friend and we're going to get some zinc because uh, I need that for someone's. Oh, yeah. For uh, uh, what's her name's thing. Uh, and then I'm going to go do some of the lily things, I guess. And some of these side missions we still got to do. Because I got a lot of side missions and I haven't really done any of them. <laughs> uh, let's see. So I've also got upgrades. I don't have a ton. I've got a bunch of these like shenanigan things we could do as well. Uh, but we'll see. I got quite a few glims and such. So I shouldn't be hurting for glims for a while. I wouldn't think. I've got, like, a bunch. Whee! Oh, it's morning already I really need to cook more things I don't really have a lot of cooking Ooh. let me cook something I got so many eggs it's actually kind of scary what can you do with yogurt strawberry yo Ooh. Ooh. okay um I can't really do a ton with it besides blueberries, but I need those for something else. All right, so let's do... Let's just do three and three, and then see what maple yogurt... Maple yogurt. That's what we're going to do. Maple yogurt. It's going to be great. Good morning. You're fine. That was fast. Excuse me. I need the zinc. And then maybe I should plant one of these zincs because I'm going to be low on that. Pretty low on zinc. I know that. I don't know if this is going to be enough, but it could be. Okay. And I got some gold. I actually don't remember how much zinc I needed. I'll probably plant another one. Wait, you know what I could do? Can I do something with that diamond? No. Okay, I'm going to plant at least one more of these. And then another gold. Wait, nope, I didn't do it. Uh, let's do one of these again. Cat, what are you doing? 
Quit messing around. I also need to re redo my outfit because they changed my outfit. I didn't ask to change my outfit. The game did it on its own. I'm very disappointed in the game's deciding for me what I want to do. Okay. Uh, we need more logs. What I really need is actually oak, <laughs> of all things. Uh, but we're doing pretty good there, so what I might actually do is aluminum, just in case, because I don't know if we're going to need more of that. Bella! Hold on, I'm short. There we go. Nope, I missed. Yes, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Yes, I'm done. Get out of here. Get out of here. What future things am I not ready for? That's what I want to know. You hungry yet? No, you're not. Wait, are we down to just these two? No, wait. Is that it? That's all I've got? I've only got two spirits on this ship. That's weird. That's real weird. Sweet yogurt. Well, ain't that a special treat that can't be beat. I'm down to two spirits. I mean, if you don't count Lily, which I guess I don't, because that's just my sister, right? Like, that, that, I don't think that counts. Let's do, like, five of these with... I can't do that. Interesting. All right, let's do five of those with some mushies. We'll see what that does. And then I guess we'll just head on it because I need to go. Um, I hear the the oh the Harkashima lighthouse is nice this time of year. I don't know if. We, that's not really one of the places that I'm planning on. Where is that at? Is that the thing that's up here? Uh, this one? No, that's Susan's Museum. Not that one. Is that this one? Ah, this one. Oh, there's a spirit up there. Okay, I see what you're saying. I got you. I got you. There's a lot of stuff over here I haven't done. Um, I mean, we could do that. There are some things I want to do first. Hold on. Because there was like... I'll, I'll head over that direction because I think I need to go in that direction anyway. So we're going to go to... During night, though. I have to do that night. There was something else I needed to do. Was it one of these? Immense size. I can get something of immense size. Okay, so I do need to go here in Hummingbird. So I'm going to do Fuagawa and Hummingbird. Let's do that because we do have to go to both those places. So let's go to there. So if I hit this up, let's do that. And then we'll head over to Hummingbird and Fuagawa. And then we'll hit up that lighthouse. Because that's a good idea. You're right. I do need to do that. I didn't know my corn was ready. That didn't look ready to me for some reason. Uh, let's plant some garlic. I didn't know I had garlic. Sure. I could always use some more garlic. Your Fuagawa, right? No. Wait, is that Fuagawa? Yes, this is it. So we're going to go here. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You need some Wawa? I got your Wawa right here. Lily's gone. 
I don't know where Lily went. That's okay. We'll find her. Uh, okay, we're going here. And then, oh yeah, right. I need to check on this because I was going to improve your house. And I thought I had the materials I need for... I'm still short on zinc. Ah, I could do this though. Okay, so we'll just do that now. And then I need zinc. That's pretty much it. Okay. Very well then. How are you doing, Miss Dog? Do you want some sweet tea? You don't want sweet tea. Maybe you would. I don't know. Do you want some breakfast? Thank you for the meal. You got it. Anything for you. We're here. Good. Okay, so I'm here for supplies and also to do one of the side missions. I think. Do you want this? Hey, you. Uh, the name's Megan. I run the uh, street team for the Dice Boys here in Furigawa. They got We got hungry fans, hungry for the bars. I'm dead ass. The Dice Boys are huge here. This new record uh, warning, Sacred Dog, is really going to put push some boundaries. Uh, sonically, it's popularity-wise. I'm just happy for them. You, they've, uh, they've been here for a minute. It's time people started recognizing their talent. Thanks for the shipment. You got it. I got your records, baby. Um, okay, so shenanigans-wise, was there anything else here that I needed to do? Oh, bring back household glue. I don't know how to make glue. How the hell do you make glue? I mean, I've done it. I know that, but I don't remember how to do it. Do, do, do. Got Theodore. Smelt the shoe? Maybe. It was something like that. Lost at sea. What is that? This is what happens when you don't know where you're going. Well, I never know anything. Uh, let me buy a few of these because I don't have any of them, and then I'm going to get a few of you. And then I don't know what that is, but I'll get it. All right. Yoing. Oops. I don't know what that thing was. What was that lost at sea thing? A math equation. Oh! Interesting. Did not know that. Huh. Oh, it's another acetate thing. So I've got another memory. Oh. Okay. I was not expecting to find that. <laughs> so that is a good coincidence. See, are we glad we came to Fuwagawa? I had no idea I was going to do that, but I did it. All right, so let's go here. We're going to go to Hummingbird next. Oh, sheepies. I forget. I keep forgetting my sheepies. They're probably dying of that hunger. Is proud to support an ongoing donation drive right here on Twitch for the Lemur Conservation Foundation. If you want to support the stream in an awesome way, and can afford it, check it out. To learn more, check out the link in chat at thelemurreserve.org. You're fine. I guess I did feed you recently, because you seem to be okay. Cow! Cow! I'm 
gonna feed you and then I'm gonna milk you. Okay, so we're gonna go to Hummingbird now. I really need that zinc though. Because then I can finish what's her name's thing. Her house or whatever. Okay, that's Hummingbird, right? Yes. Okay. What are you? Raspberries? That could be good. I do need those. I haven't had like a good raspberry stash in quite some time, actually. Is this done? Also, what was I cooking? Oh, it was not done. Literally not done. Okay, that sucks. Um, let me redo that, I guess. It looked like the clock had finished, but... Hi, Lily. Let me hug you again. Sissy. Okay. Good talk. Uh, let's get these raspberries while we're over here. So let's go here, and then let's go here. I gotta take advantage of what I can while I can, I guess. I need to water! See you later! Once you get to a certain point of this game, like, you just, you never feel like you can stop. That's the thing about this game that's kind of crazy, is that, like, once you get a certain amount of things done and going, uh, stopping is very difficult to do. Because you just never have the time to do it. Uh, where is my stuff that I needed? Oh, right, 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 right. I wanted to go over here. Because it changed my outfit, and I didn't ask for that, you know? Like, I wanted to do this shirt. And then I wanted this hat. It seems to be changing my outfit based on, like, can you not just pick, like, one thing and not change the others? Or does it just, like, automatically default? I guess that is a thing, potentially. No, it didn't there. I don't know how this works. Okay, so let me do... I want to do different... No, my hat's fine. I don't care about that. The first tab is full outfits, right. That I got. But... It's the other part. Let's do blue jeans, okay. And then I can do shoes of Admiral shoes. Done. Okay, there's my new outfit. I don't know if it's any good. I'm just going to assume that it's great. Lots of thunder events here. Chickadees. The chickadees. I got so many chickens and a bunch of eggs. And I got them beaches, which I really don't need. I really only need like one thing, to be fair. Okay, so let's go get these raspberries, and then we'll head over to Uagawa. Or not, no, Hummingbird, that's the next one.
raspberries. Okay, something is definitely happening here. Whoop. Bam! Oh. Oh, right. That's our annual Kalmar visit in our tools house. Wow, the whole family is there. <laughs> Except me. Look at Uncle Artul. Oh, is that Unky? At the grill, obviously. Look at your face. You're covered from head to toe in barbecue sauce. And it... It's adorable. Mom is beaming. She's so young, but so tired. Look at her eyes. Those are the eyes of someone who's not sleeping. Nice job, Stella. Keeping Mom awake all night with your baby tears. <laughs> I'm actually happy Mom's sleeping right now. She needs rest. Plus, I get to talk to you all alone and have a drink. All right, let's turn to another page. Something from the middle. Another picture from when we were living in France. When is in this one? <laughs> we were riding our bikes together. You and Gwen would always outpace me, leaving me behind. I guess no one wants their friend's little sister running around them. When I was young, I admire her so much. Remember, she would disappear for months and end and show up out of nowhere. I thought she was bold and amazing. Mom and Dad loved her. She was a kind... She was a kind of a parent whisperer. I guess our home felt like her home. Okay. There's a postcard on the next page. It's from Japan. Wow. Striking out on my own. Wait. Is this... What's up, Gecko? How's it going? Pretty good. Um, we've done quite a lot today. Uh, pretty interesting, right? Like, we've done uh, quite a bit. I missed that island somehow. Uh, but we uh, we said goodbye. We said a few goodbyes. Uh, Bruce and Mickey uh, are no longer with us. Um, and neither is... Um, now there's our favorite bird friend, Gustav. They both uh, said goodbye to us earlier. Um, and this is Lily. Uh, this is my sister, apparently reminiscing with me sitting on my deathbed. Which is apparently what's happening right now. I need to talk to somebody here in Hummingbird. Ah, the two mainstays, but it makes sense. Yeah. So we really, we really did get it confirmed at this point that, um... Huh. What? A new hip-hop record? Straight off the press. Wax still fresh. I still gotta be the Dice Boys. Ah, my name's Taylor, and I manage the street team here in Mummingbird. Oh. We've been waiting for a while for the new Dice Boys single. I've heard rumors that they were breaking up. Good to know something good came out of such hectic time. I'll be spreading these copies around. Thanks for the help. We must be a big fan to come all the way up here. All right. So that that was that. Talk to the Dice Boys. I don't know where the Dice Boys are. Oxbury Rapper. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so we, we basically did get it. Um, we did get it pretty much confirmed that uh, this is essentially happening. All of this is happening in Stella's mind. Um as she's dying. It, it's based, I think it's, I think at this point we can pretty much say it's confirmed. Um, which is pretty, pretty crazy when you think about it. Did I just like skip over this? There's a spirit there? No, wait, there's not. Talk about life flashing before your eyes instead make a full game out of it, right? Exactly. But yeah, it's been really, really interesting. Like, uh, Gustav was 
I think what we discovered about Gustav is that I, I think I want to say like I think someone said what definitely was this but I think that he had like multiple sclerosis and was confined to a wheelchair was losing control of his body and that's kind of what he went into in his final you know speech um, and that's really hard and then I guess what we got out of Bruce and Mickey is that we knew that Bruce or Mickey had been in like an accident of some sort. And um, as a result of that, uh, was either in a coma for a long time or died. And I think what happened is that Bruce tried to go on, but his life had been so intertwined with Mickey. They really didn't know how to how to do that. Like he really wasn't sure what to do with his life. And that's really interesting stuff for sure. Okay, meet Lily at the, the Puigawa Shrine. Oh Milo my goodness. Six odd ones. Hello, Milo and crew. What is going on? Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody had a great time with Milo and welcome to the stream. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for stopping by. Let me give you guys a, uh, a nice little shout out here. Let's see what you guys are doing. You're playing Guardians of the Galaxy. That's so awesome. Yes, you have arrived. I, I, I can see that. I'm glad you're here. It's good to see what is happening over here. Oh, this one. We got this one again. I'm really good at getting this clip. <laughs> His face. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, man. It's time for you to talk. Oh. That's not good at all. That's There's nothing good about that. Ouch. Anyway. I was just at Fuagawa. Ugh. Okay, I have to meet her in Fuagawa. Where am I right now? Okay. The old dick twist. Exactly, Hi-Fi. Exactly. Okay, so we're going to go get my zinc because that should be enough to finish upgrading the one house. And that's kind of a big thing. Uh, that should be enough. Maybe I should make some food. I don't, oh, I wasn't done. Nope, nope. No, don't do it. Uh, this thing takes so... Why do potatoes and mushrooms take so freaking long? What is with potatoes and mushrooms? They're like, let me take nine years to cook. I know potatoes sometimes take a long time. I get that. I didn't realize it wasn't done. I didn't even know I was cooking anything. Dear Gecko Gecko Gecko, but let's be real. Nazan could use an upgrade in that department. No. It's hard work waiting for those big gaming moments, right? Right. Maybe a little impatience keeps things exciting. Don't Maybe. You think? Okay, here's my zinc and an aluminum minimum. Because I did need zinc. I really did. Hopefully now I've got enough zinc to get me through here. Leo's spot on. Exactly right. He knows what's up. Rare Theo win. He knows what's up. Bam. Is that gold? I think this is gold. Yes. Okay. I'm going to hold off for now because I don't really know what I need. So let me go do this thing. I'm going to go upgrade that house and then we'll go from there. Good morning. You're not hungry. That's good. Improve your little cottage. Okay. Can I do it? Yes, I can. Okay. Done. That house is done. Her entire existence is now complete. I don't want to hear nothing about nothing, no time, nowhere. You're done. All right, moving on. We're going to here. I guess I could get the big ship upgrade if I really need to, but I think we're going to go... 
I think we're going to go do some of the side missions and then we'll get like the new spirit here in a little bit. Because we're pretty low on... Um, we're low on passengers right now. Our passenger list is down to two. And that's actually pretty incredible if you think about where we came from. Uh, rice. I do need some rice. Rice would be nice. Let's go. Here we go. Okay. I'm going to go. I know where I'm going. I'm going way up here. Not there. Over here. Because I need to go to, to you. Yes, that's where I'm going. I have a mission. Okay. I think there were two things we needed to do in this area. Finley Fish, thank you for the follow and welcome to the conspiracy. Thank you so much. Good to see you. Hope you're having a good day. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Spirit Fairer. A game, a lovely, lovely, cozy, wonderful resource gathering game, all about death. Literally all about death. This game, that's what this is about. Spirit Airlines. That's a different kind of death, but very similar concept, yes. Both death, one a little bit more kindly about it than the other. This one definitely being that. I need to feed my sheep. Have some cherries. You're a good sheep. Thank you, sheepies. Is my potatoes and mushrooms done yet? Those potatoes and mushrooms are taking a long, long time. Those are the slowest mushrooms in existence. I'm here. I made it. Okay, so I need to go into town. Spiritfarer can't live on fish and mushies alone. I have to go into town and do something. I don't remember what. Hello, Theodore. What are you selling? Ooh, you're selling uh, to scare a song that's perfect for when the leaves are falling. That's nice. <laughs> Who are you? Who invented winter? I did. <laughs> Got him. It was me. Did I ever do that? Okay, so I'm here for a reason. There's some sort of acetate here. I'm freezing my feet out here. I agree with you. I don't know if you have any feet, but I will accept that. Anyone seen an acetate anywhere? Unless it is that thing, which it could be. I bet it is that. How do you get to that? I bet it is that. What else would it be? I am going to miss. Alrighty. But it's got to be that thing. Guarantee it. No, I'm not going to make it. Okay. I bet it is that thing, because I, I can guarantee I've never gotten that thing. I mean, I'm pretty 99% certain. Oh, man, that was horrible. Oh, now I'm freezing to death. Well. I cannot get anywhere here. Okay. Um, there's got to be a better way to do this. Is it that thing? 
really feels like it should be that thing. But I'll go up here. Yeah, it's definitely that thing. Okay. All right, all right, all right. How do I get to you? So here's what I'm going to do. Because I need... Ugh, it's so hard to get to that. No! I was trying to land! Ugh. Oh, it looks like if I... Okay, I see what I have to do. Hmm, interesting. So it looks like if I just start going out here... Nope. Ah, you gotta time this just right, but I can't. I don't know how you do this. Oh my god. It is in the weirdest place possible. All I can say about that. Nope. That is a weird spot. Can you just drop? No, you can't. I'm like right there, but I can't... Ugh. I'm not sure how you're supposed to do this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's right there. Come on. Ah! Ah! What am I missing here? I've got to be missing something. Well, there's one in there, but I don't have a key for this. Unless I do. Maybe it's that thing. <laughs> I bet it's this one. Maybe you need another ability. Uh, don't double jump if you're under the railing moving it forward. Okay, maybe. Was that the thing? Did I just get it? I did. Okay, so that was the actual one. That's what I needed. Okay, but I could still try and get that other thing because it would be nice, but... I didn't mean to do a double jump. I, you, mm. uh, don't double jump until you're under the railing and moving towards it. Got it. There we go. But the, oh! Ooh, I got two more diamonds. That's probably good. Okay, there was something else I needed to do here. Nailed it, exactly. Okay. I need... There's something else here. Find the fight score in Nordweiler. Is that what this was? I can't be that one. I'll get it, but... No, maybe it was. Maybe it was it. Hold on. It was. Oh. Alrighty. Good stuff. We did so much there. We actually accomplished a lot. Okay. So with all that being... My food is done, finally. My, my potatoes and mushies, finally. Finally done. Mushroom salad. Sounds great. Okay, good. Yum. Delicious. I am excited about that for no reason whatsoever. I have so many fish <laughs> that I never cook. You know why I didn't cook fish? I'm not going to lie. The reason I didn't cook fish is because of Bruce and Mickey and they wouldn't eat any of it. So like, I just didn't do it. But now I can. Now we can. Finley, don't look. Yes, don't look, Finley. Sorry. Don't look. It's gonna get ugly very fast. Okay. So now I need to go to Fuagawa. Because my sister needs something there. And then also, what did I have on you? I had zinc. I don't need that now, but I did have it there. Okay, so... We need to get to Fuagawa at night. 
so I could do the second lily thing. And we are approaching night, so maybe that's what I need to do. Uh, okay, build a new guest house. I need to talk to this guy. I need a bunch of raspberries. I need everything. I need to talk to you. Talk to Larry at the Nordsey Pier. Wait a minute. Wouldn't that be up here somewhere? The Nordsey Pier. Okay. Well, maybe that's where we'll stop by since I'm over here. I probably should feed a uh, bird lady because she's probably starving. I've kind of forgotten about her, but I don't know where she is right now. Where are you? Bird lady. Bird lady, show yourself. You're so hard to find. I got some eggs. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, cow. Cow. I'm going to make this utterly ridiculous right now. You're going to be so milked, it's utterly ridiculous. Fun note regarding the sea fast travel system. A lot of people find the, uh, his music completely jarring compared to the rest of the soundtrack to the point they end up adding a mute option later in a later update. <laughs> um, I mean, it's definitely oh, different, the but I... conspiracy theories about the game design. Sounds right? like they're trying to keep the chill factor high and prevent speed demons from zipping around like there's no tomorrow. Exactly. Slow and steady wins the race, right? Enjoy no. the relaxing sail and soak in the serene atmosphere of the game. So, that may be true, Theo, but we'll just go with this over here. But I would say that, yeah, maybe. I, I find it appropriate for the character, so I guess it doesn't really bother me that much. Like, it is very jarring compared to the rest of the music in the game, for sure. But um, it works for me, so I don't really have a problem with it. Where is Bird Lady? Bird Lady, I got food for you. Bird Lady, let me let me feed you. Where are you hiding? Are you in your house? You are not in your house. Where are you? Where the hell are you? There's a problem with everything getting built up the way that it has. Now I can't find anybody. <laughs> oh, I bet I know where she is. I know where she is. I know where she is. Hold on. I know where she is. I bet she's in here. I knew it. It's a definitely an acquired taste for sure. I would agree. She needs food. Also, I can do other things. Do you want some? Thank you. Okay, so let's do whatever this is. I've got like two of these, I think. What is that? That view? I'd love to look at these houses. They are so beautiful. My father was obsessed with architecture. She was a veteran. He was a veteran. He went overseas and fell in love with the buildings. It's definitely an acquired days for sure. It is. Even on the battlefield, he carried his film camera around his neck. He would always be taking pictures. Can you believe that? Despite all the violence and carnage, he still found beauty. Seeing those buildings left uh, quite the impact on him. He didn't talk about it much. The war, I mean. Architecture became more than a... He talked about it all the time. Did I ever tell you that I lost my purse? Um, I lost my purse with my address book at my mother's brooch. I don't think so. Well, that purse had the photograph inside. I would take it from... Hmm. Let me take a little break. Oh. I can't move. Okay. Okay, where are we at right now? We are... Hello. Only the cool kids join the conspiracy on Discord. I remember so the wall. I can see why you she does there. remember the wall. Just saying. Okay, we're going to go to Nordsey Pier because there is something I can do here. But yes, you're right. She does remember the war. Her husband was a veteran. I'm pretty sure he's definitely dead. Okay. 
Okay. Wee! Ooh, my peaches. Guys, I'm gonna touch these peaches real quick. There we go. Mm. Give them a firm grip. You can't let those peaches get away. Can't do it. Wink. Okay, here we are. I'm gonna go do this really quick and then we're going to Fuigawa, even though I'm probably gonna miss the nighttime. I feel like I'm gonna miss the nighttime for sure. Somebody need, oh, well, well. Oh, did you end up picking? That's wonderful. Ingrid is a born star, even if she hides it. Those eyes, that face. She's perfect for this role. You pulled it off. A superb last minute casting director. My regulars should go on her honeymoon before, more often. Well, it's her third in six years. This town. Things move fast. But back to our movie. I still couldn't find a director or a screenwriter. Everyone is booked up. Everyone is scared of what the picture will mean to the industry. I'll have to uh, keep the spirit alive a little longer. I'll give you a call whenever I get this project development hell. In the meantime, you know what they say about actors. There are cattle. Someone I know said that. You'll be my first call, madame. And don't forget, you've got the face of a star. A star, I tell you. Ooh, I can... For some reason, that gives me a cow stall upgrade. It makes perfect sense if you don't think about it too much. Okay, let's see if I can get to Fuagawa before night ends. That's going to be a tough one, but I'm going to try it. We're going to do our very grandest and best to get to Fuagawa before night ends because I want to try and do this second lily thing. We are getting lower on this, so that's good. And I don't necessarily need to do all of these, but I need to make glue, and I don't remember how to do that. <laughs> um, okay, we're going to be pushing this. We're going to be pushing this really close to the close to time here. Oh, no. Go. Okay. Fuagawa, Fuagawa, Fuagawa. Let's go. Okay. And then I got to get on it immediately once this is done. Because I have to do this at night. I have to... No, don't climb. I don't want you to climb. Go, 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 go. Boom, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We got this, we got this, we got this. That's, that moon better stay where it is up there. Don't go too low. Oh, it's taking way too long. There's no way we're going to get there in time. There is no way. No freaking way. Maybe. Maybe. We're getting close to it. If I just get over there. No, I don't want to. I can't. I don't have time. Sorry. I don't have time to hug right now. Okay, let's go. Oh, come on. We just got to get to that shrine before nighttime is over. I love my cat. I want to pet them, but I can't right now because I'm busy. Where's the shrine? Why is it 40 million feet away from me? Good Lord. It's like the last thing on this island, isn't it? There we go. I did it. Okay. Ugh. I wasn't sure we were going to make that. <laughs> oh. Oh, this photo album sure makes you look well-traveled, sis. Listen up, because I'm going to read this, your embarrassing postcard. Ah, uh, let me find my famous Stella voice one second. Uh, Dear 
Dear Mom and dear Dad and Lily, my trip has been amazing so far. I've been making friends. What a boring thing to say. At this rate, the summer vacation will be gone in a flash. Last weekend, I went to Shuikawa Go and in the Toyama Prefecture. I took a tour and visit this beautiful rice paddies. It was an impressive sight next to these incredible houses at the bottom of the mountains. It was especially beautiful at, what, at night when the glow of the moon. Oh, Stella, you perv. He's an art curator from Germany. He's creating an art exhibit uh, exhibition in Nagasaki. The tour was in Japanese, so he helped me with some of the nuances. So is that Gustav then? That must be Gustav. He gave me his address and invited me to the show. I miss you all. I can't wait for you to visit me in a few months. Stella. Mm-hmm. Must be. P.S. Stay out of my room, Lily. I didn't. <laughs> wow. You were so outgoing. I don't remember ever being like that. So full of life. And I always remember being a bit dramatic, let's say. Stella Gustav sitting in a tree? It certainly seems that way, doesn't it? I was wrong about that. I thought I thought she was with um, uh, Giovanni, but I was I was definitely wrong about that. That's what it seems like. For sure. Hold on, sorry, one second. But yeah, I, I kind of thought it was her and Giovanni. But now that I now that I remember that story with her and Ingrid and Giovanni, uh, I don't think that's the case. I do think that she knew both of them um, and knew them both for like the flaws that they had. But I don't think she was with any of them or or him or anything of that nature for sure. Um, let's do that one. All right. Okay. But, yeah, so I think uh, Stella Gustav sitting in a tree. It was always a bit dramatic, let's say. What if you went to see Gustav's uh, exhibition? That was his name, right? I never got to go on that trip uh, to see you. Dad got sick around that time. He had trouble walking. Hey, gonna lurk while I work. No worries. And uh, thanks for stopping by and being part of the raid. I really appreciate you. Ah! Ah! That's so much water! Thank you! His body was swelling and everything hurt him. I never understood why they kept that from you. They probably knew you'd come back as soon as they told you. To take care of him. I got to see Dad get sicker and sicker. I wasn't able to do anything to help. I still remember your face when you got home. For a second, it was like you didn't even recognize him. Let's keep going. It's not like you've ever shied away from death. You basically made it your whole world. <laughs> I'm sure you got some pictures of uh, when you moved to Montreal. Let's take a look. Interesting. I wonder if that... I wonder if that is the inciting incident that... I wonder if that is the inciting incident that got her to go into the field that she did. You know? Because that would kind of make sense if, like, her being away... Her being on her, you know, exhibition and Gustav and probably meeting Gustav and then obviously had maybe kind of a thing with him. I don't know. But then he ended up getting multiple sclerosis. God, that's that's a weird life. <laughs> uh, a lot of things happening at one time or like very, very short order. That'd be tough. Right? Because like. These are big events in her life, and then she comes home, her dad is dying, you know, she she probably feels guilty because she wasn't around for him. Yeah.
Yeah, life works in mysterious ways. It sure does. Um, but I guess that that's what makes it so interesting, this whole story. Because that's what Death asked us the last time we saw him, right? He was basically like, are you sure you're doing this for them or are you doing it for you? And maybe that's what he meant by that, is that is Stella doing all of the things she did by helping people? Was it for them or was it because of some level of guilt from her? And that is devastating if that's the case, because she doesn't deserve that. No, absolutely not. Right? Like, there's no way. There's no way she deserved that. But maybe that's what happened. I don't know. Also, I'm, just, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I still don't know where... I still do not know where uh, to get Dash. I'm not 100% certain. We'll figure it out, but I'm not 100% sure. Eggies! Yum, 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 yum. Did we finish everything in here? Knitting in a chair. House is down. War torn Strasbourg. Lost at sea. This is what happens when you don't know where you're going. This is the one we found recently. Oh. What is this one? Interesting. These are definitely ready to go. I got some shoes. I guess I could try that with, like, the... I got because I still need that glue. And I ain't got no glue. Uh, let's do that. Let's do some cabbage. And onions. Because I, I still don't have onions because they don't give you any onions. Like even if you plant onions, it's like one seed equals one onion. It's very inefficient. Okay, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to go here and get a new spirit. Because I'm pretty sure we can do that now, and we have room aboard the ship for that's for sure. So, hello, Theodore. Do you have anything I could sell? I have things to sell. I got lots of stuff. Do you have anything to buy? You have pork. Okay, nothing. Nothing I want. Okay, see you later, Theodore. Good talking to you. Oh. Don't ruin my umbrella with your jumping and bouncing. Oh, that's right. I couldn't get anywhere here because I didn't have jump yet. And so maybe that was the whole thing is that I couldn't do that. And that's why I never, I never got anywhere here because I didn't have the ability yet. That's probably what happened. Okay. Let's keep it clean, please. Nope, I'm going to do this. Sorry, but now I can. Oh, wow. Hi. By the 11 stars, I knew you would come. The chosen one. The spirit fanner. A mere glimpse of your white sail on the horizon, gleaming with hope and virtue, sacrificed to brighten my soul. A simple glance at your glorious galleon made my heart race in awe. <laughs> Braised be Halor. You are here, Commander. One who can only bow in front of your illustrious presence. <laughs> I am Buck, your humble servant and narrator. My modest presence in the August vessel will guide your footsteps on the path to glory. Oh, may the radiant fay bless your hat forever. Oh. This is a grand day. I meant, I feel like I'm doing the wrong voice for him. Because when I listen to his little grunts and sounds. Oh, joy, welcome me with tall Mount Faradath. Vath of the Great Sea. <gasps> to the vessel. Okay. I'm bringing him with me. But first, I need to look around a little bit. 
I can go in there. Who knew? Okay, I still can't... I've seen those around. I just can't do anything with them. Best D&D &D lad? Is that what he is? That's great. I hope... I'm, I'm actually happy if that's the case. Because that's awesome. Those light bulbs have to... Because I've seen those a few places now. Oh my god, he's so adorable though. Look at him, he's so cute. I love him. <laughs> Over here. Web can't aptly describe the immensity of my joy, Commander. At the idea of my humble presence here on this very deck. But also, I gaze into the stars and impatiently wait for the future adventure to unfold. Commander, the duty of knowledge rests heavily on my frail shoulders. I must inform you of your mission. Laid ahead of us by torturous vicissitudes of fate itself, your task is of utmost importance. With your power, the cruel and terrible lich god Gord Nemloth can be finally defeated. <laughs> Look at what is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> Make a fear check. Fifteen. You sense a cold shiver slithering down your spine. Your courage jumps forth and your mind stays clear for untroubled at the sound of his name. Gore Nimloth wants to conquer the sun itself. He conspires to seal the light itself. You must stop him at once. Only your powers can shield the world from its unholy plot. <laughs> the bulwark of the stars will make the sky once more. But before we delve further into the lich treacherous plans of the lich god, some preparations are in order. <laughs> your humble narrator here needs a little something before we can venture forth on our grand jury. In the uh, shadow alleys of Edinburgh Lane lies an emporium of great interest. A bazaar whose gilded cabinets harbors artifacts of epic value and great rarity. <laughs> its owner, an eclectic shopkeeper, is an equal part shoddy and scrupulous. This scoundrel has gotten his persona a unique scroll I covet. On this magic scroll, written in great details, how I erect a very special mage tower. <laughs> a layer of infinite wonders. Only the scroll will allow you to build it so I, your modest chronicler, can set quarters in it. Onward. <laughs> Let's set forth for the wretched shores of the Emerald City. Edinburgh Lane is kind of green after all. <laughs> Captain? <laughs> Arr. What does old Johnny Silverleg see? I'm trying out a new character. Just roll with it. <laughs> your kin has aboard the vessel. A pilot captain has a sister. Or should I say, an able sailor. Someone to swap the decks, perhaps. No, 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 no. Excuse me, old great pirate captain. We should give a number of your family such vile duties. Especially since he has gifted us in such a craven gift. Yes. Arr. My mouth feels funny when I do that sound. <laughs> a great gift indeed. The ability of your ship to travel during nighttime. How does it work? I do not care and I do not want to know. The only thing I know is don't look gift squids in the mouth. We are no longer bound by the laws of mere mortals. We are free to roam the open seas, including when the sun goes down. We are pirates. We will live forever. Everyone knows the best pirate crimes are committed at night. And now we can steal treasure map instead of sleep. Hidden bounties will be discovered. No more Z's for this crew. Onward, oh great pirate captain. Let's take this ship Twilight on the maiden voyage. All right. I love him. He's great. <laughs> I love his enthusiasm. What do you want, old funny bird lady? Oh. Oh, hey, Stella. I could feel it in my bones. The season is about to change. We should take a look at the flowers. You don't... Remember? When we were neighbors? 
we had these beautiful red armonies in our garden. You took so you looked so surprised when they would bloom each springtime. You probably thought it was magic or something. You had the look of how did they survive the winter? Well, flowers are resilient. They remember that they want to grow, to see the sunlight, to feel its warmth. That's what I like most about you, sweet pea. You were always the bright part of my day. I'm glad we were neighbors. Neighbors. Okay. That's nice. I feel so bad for her. Okay, so this one wants to go to Oxbury and Edinburgh. Okay. So that's going to be what we're going to do next. I think this is a good spot to kind of call it for the evening. Uh, Gecko and Crispy, what's going on? Let's get over here. And we'll do that. We'll do this. And I think this is a good spot to stop for the night because I feel like we're heading towards a conclusion here. I feel like we're getting towards the end. Um, and that might be the case. And if that is the case, that's awesome. Uh, this game has been an emotional ride, right? So we get to say farewell. Harbu scared indeed. Crispy <laughs> Lemmer. Sounds like you're in for a wild ride. Thanks for the stream, Mason. See you later. Yeah, see you guys later Buckle too. Up and enjoy the adrenaline rush here. Um, let's go to let's do don't this. So just don't let it get the best of you. Exactly. But it, we got to say goodbye to Mickey and Bruce. We got to say goodbye to Gustav. And uh, yeah, so this game is probably coming to a conclusion fairly soon. Uh, maybe in the next stream, we'll see. Uh, and yeah. I'm very happy with this game, but I will see you guys tomorrow. We're going to continue on with Winds of Change. I'm really excited to get back to it. So I will see you guys then. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to send you guys over to see James Fox, who is playing some, um, looks like he's playing, what is he playing right now? He's playing some Deep Rock Galactic. So that should be a pretty nice change of pace here, but a really fun guy. And if you don't know see James Fox, give him the old lead in the stream is welcome. And uh, give him a follow. He's a really cool dude, really nice, really sweet soul. And uh, plays with us um, on this Wednesday when we're doing some more uh, Overcooked this time. So, like I said, have a good night, everyone. See you next time. Enjoy.